Hello, everyone, and welcome tonight to the stream. We got the semi-finals here between Conduit Phoenix and Dorado Gaming Row. I'm Black Eyed Peas, joined by It's Genetics. How's it going? Dude, I'm excited. I'm pumped. It's the fourth straight. Actually, I think it's even more than that. Uh, it's like the fifth or sixth straight time Conduit's been in a semifinals in BOL. Uh, gold, so it's, uh, happy to be home. Yeah. Uh, absolutely this is where we feel most comfortable um we will have dorado on the blue side here for game one and phoenix on the red side and dr bands are going crazy fast Um, I would suspect that we're going to look to play strong mid mid jungle duos for the side of row and um, with Phoenix I know they're actually using a sub they're using stubby top lane uh, Dobbs rotating down to the mid lane and, and dark rotating support so I'm honestly not sure what they're going to play because uh, you know switching a player out kind of last second throws throws a wrench into into your plans. Yeah, it definitely does throw a wrench into your plans, especially with the Seraphine uh, being the first pick here for Dorado, though. That is one of those flexible champions that has pretty good win rates in three rolls. Uh, so first pick in Seraphine is usually pretty safe because it could be that decent mid pick that we were talking about. It could be support or it could be the APC. You can even uh, team it up with something weird in the bot lane. But Conduit will follow up with the Ezreal. With the, uh, the sub situation on Phoenix, it will be cool to see kind of what they pivot to we haven't really seen Dobbs play mid uh for a while but we know that he is absolutely uh capable of as he was originally a mid laner and Nation gonna be whipping out the Wukong Wukong has been kind of weak uh in most people's eyes especially in solo queue uh but I gotta say I've been playing Wukong a little bit more recently and I am six and two in ranked right now I think the champion's still really good yeah I think I don't know if he's really gotten any buffs per se, but I think he was never in a terrible spot. And with, you know, this jungle shuffle, I think he's right back in there. The Amumu, though, going to be locked in pretty quickly here for Dorado. Another champion that absolutely shreds in low elo. Uh, fantastic pick. Just has so much CC. Uh, can just keep healing and uh, continue to dish out that just consistent damage while still being tanky and hard to kill. Cassante picked early though, so Cassante is blind picked, but I I think he's pretty easy to counter as well. I'd like to see like a Mordekaiser picked into it because the last time I saw Cassante versus Mordekaiser, the Mordekaiser destroyed him. Yeah, Cassante is just one of these champs right now. That's just it feels like he's insanely overtuned. Yeah, yeah, just a bit. Orn Orn is safe. Uh makes sense uh as well continue to just play for 13 play for 14 and get as real or whoever's fed that upgraded item and then kind of secure yourself a nice little late game spot uh the orin wukong knockup uh like bounce house combo also pretty hilarious and really fun to do so i'm liking i'm liking uh both teams drafts uh i think i favor conduits a tiny bit more uh just because i think Cassante is so hit or miss he either is absolutely pops off or very much just does nothing. <laughs> so we'll have to wait and see. If he pops off, though, literally nothing that they can do. Um, I will say these bands are pretty telling. Basically four mid bands. Uh, Jason Syndra, Phoenix's band away, and then Dorado band away, the Lux and the Corky. So... It will just be the Brahm, so the support locked in. Brahm Ezreal, pretty good. Brahm's pretty good in the Seraphine. Yeah, I like Brahm into their entire comp. It adds another knockup. And, um, yeah, the, the, I don't know what it's called, the shield for Seraphine is really good. Yeah, and it's looking like it's going to be Seraphine in the bot lane, uh, but... Yone still could also be in the bot lane with Seraphine. I, I've actually seen that lane recently. Uh, I doubt it. It's probably Yone Min. We're probably going to see a standard AD carry here or a double enchanter bot. We'll have to wait and see what happens. 
They got about 15 seconds left to pick. Uh, Yone is one of those champions that does not care about Brahm's wall. We'll alt right through it, I'm pretty sure, because <laughs> he's unstoppable. So that will, yeah, uh, that doesn't really stop it. Match here. It is. So it's going to be Seraphine yeah. Rel in the bot lane, and it's going to be Yone in the mid lane, uh, 90%. No. I'm wondering if Dobbs is going to take Brand into this comp. Dobbs really likes playing Brand. This looks like maybe the best Brand game you can get. There's four melee champs, uh, and I know Yone is kind of a a weird one, but there's a, a lot of clumps. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dobbs, Call Brand, Dobbs and Brand go go together hand in hand. Um, I've seen Dobbs yeah. play Brand multiple times. Uh, and pretty sure I've always seen him do pretty decently, if not exceptional on the champion. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I absolutely agree. They want to, they want a wombo combo on top of you. Uh, brand says, sure, I'll press R. So yeah, I, I overall, I think both comps are pretty good. I, I really like the Rella Mumu Seraphine. Like I like what they're trying to do there. Yone over the top and Cassante plays disruption because Cassante can just pull brand out of the fight or pull, like Ezreal, someone out of the fight early, especially Wukong. You pull Wukong out of the fight and then his ult does nothing uh, for the team fight. I, I think that's pretty good. But I think if Conduit plays a really nice front to back, I, I think they're also in a really, really good spot. I think both comps are easy to pull off. And uh, I think they're both uh, hard to capitalize on mistakes made. I, I think the biggest mistakes will be if Seraphine or Brand get too far out of position. Yeah, and I think it depends on Seraphine's ults, right? If Brom can block these Seraphine ults, Conduit's team fight gets a lot easier um, to manage. It, but it will really, I get, yeah, come down to, to how the teams execute. And it looks like we're getting right into the client draft here uh, for these two uh, teams. Uh, do you pref pre do you prefer one over the other, or do you think it's just is about as even as we're trying kind of saying, or do you think one is a little bit easier or potentially the better comp? Uh, I I think Conduit has a, an easier comp, right? The, there's not as much uh, complexity in terms of like uh, playing the Cassante correctly or playing the Yone correctly in these fights. Um, I think if Roe plays their comp correctly though it's a really disgusting comp all right uh well i very much agree uh but we are going to go on to a quick break here i have four or five minutes got to get through the rest of champ select and get through the three minute spectator delay and we will be back with game one of this best of five for the semifinals in the bol gold league between conduit phoenix and dorado gaming row don't go anywhere we'll be right back Hello and welcome to the game one of the matchup between Conduit Phoenix and Dorado Gaming Row. I'm Black Eyed Peas here, joined by Genetics, as we're ready to bring you this best of five series. How are you feeling about the uh, the matchup now that we see runes and summoner spells that everyone took? Um, I think it's Dobbs taking Dark Harvest indicates that he probably wants to play pretty aggressive in lanes to start getting early harvest stacks. Uh, we're all taking no aftershock on the side of Dorado. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? And Cassante not taking ghost, deciding to stick with just flash. Um, they know I think Ghost is the more popular choice right now in the current patch, but I could be wrong. Right. Uh, but those are the things I immediately see. Ezreal didn't start tier, so I'm going to be interested to see what build this Ezreal decides to go. Yeah, I think the only rune I have uh, any sort of qualms with is the same thing I always say. I wish Ezreal would just go PTA. Uh, especially into a Seraphine. Like... You're just trying to poke them out and get them out of lane because they're just going to keep healing, right? Or shove them under tower and roam. I just, I feel like the Conqueror is not as good, but uh, that's just me. Yeah, I think Conqueror will probably be difficult to um, keep up. Uh, and we'll, we'll have to see how it plays out, but I agree that it seems like a difficult selection. Yeah, but like you said, we're just going to wait and see how everything does end up playing out here. 
Um, so far, both junglers starting topside and looking like they're going to either opt for a full clear or a, or a top early gank. So with both going, Amumu's going down to Wolves, so he looks like Amumu's going for some sort of topside to bot clear. And same with Wukong, so we're going to have mirrored jungle paths, both going to be meeting up in the bot side of the map. Uh, now, Yone should, in theory, have push on the brand early, right? Before brand has all his spells. Yeah, I, I believe so. The the Yone uh, brand's CDs and calls, uh, are both really like long and high. So uh, Yone should theoretically win the the early trade probably until about level five. Um, but of course, that doesn't mean he can just all in on cooldown because it, again, still is a brand. So. If, he does get hit with one of those combos, it's a huge chunk of the damage. Right, and didn't Even, Brand just get buffed uh, as well? Yeah, they, they did buff him. I, I'm not sure what the buff was. I thought it was just the jungle buff for, like, uh, damage on minions. I could be wrong in that, though. Um, yeah, I feel like I remember some sort of thing that also, like, affected the mid lane a little bit. Um, back on, uh, 13, uh, 20, and then they made more into, like, 13, or 1321. But yeah, they, they might not have, like, fully, uh, done much to Brand. I know that Brand is about to get way better auto attacks this patch. And that's a really good catch out by Conduit, but unfortunately they're just not able to have enough damage to the point where he ends up getting out uh, with the flash. Conduit burns flash and ignite, and uh, Amumu just burns flash, so that's actually kind of a good play for uh, for Dorado here. The only thing is like, yeah, actually, Amumu's what? Uh, tied camps wise, because uh, Amumu full cleared and Wukong skipped wolves, so yeah, it's, it's not all bad. It's not, it's definitely better for this side of Dorado. I will say it's a, a little spooky for the Amumu to try to continue to play aggressive in the other lanes now, because if a similar thing happens, uh, top or mid, and Nation does end up being there, he's most likely just dead. Yeah, and speaking of top or mid, Amumu is running directly into uh, Wukong, and so now Wukong officially did get an additional Scuttle Crap, but still never cleared his wolves. So his wolves will be level one when he got two low XP Scuttles. So Amumu's probably gonna be about the same amount of XP. Uh, if not ahead, once he clears his top side, because Nation is just now backing. But meanwhile, in the bot lane, we have a pretty crazy old. fight. Uh, and Trash Panda is completely out of mana, unable to do anything else after that. And, uh, but both people, or both sides getting extremely low on the supports. Yeah, that was a. I don't understand what they just did to the wave state. Uh, they took like a really bad trade. Rel had to use Flash for no reason to try. I think they were trying to like hold it, let Seraphine TP back to a freeze. But now Seraphine's gonna have to TP just to try to shove it out because uh, Wave is bouncing. So it's a uh, not a great situation for the bot lane. Yeah, and Wukong just got spotted on that really good ward there, and uh. Coops here coming in for the game. Oh, he actually goes oh, in. I oh, think that was actually yeah, a mistake. Yeah. Oh, the brand oh. ult is huge. First blood's gonna go off to the brand and they're gonna get another flash out of induced as well. So very well played out of conduit there off of a, a little bit of a jungler mistake out of Anderson. Yeah, and that's, that's what I was talking about. You know, you win the summoner trade by taking the summoners off the Braum, but you also take it off your jungle, so. It's uh, kind of spooky. And very, very good respect flash out of uh, uh, Dobbs there. Just making sure that he doesn't get hit by the Yone ult because that would have been uh, curtains for him. Oh. And uh, it looks like Ezreal is... Oh, misses the Q and doesn't get the stun off, so he's actually not going to get as much damage as he would have. Um, one thing we'd have to point out, though, is the CS discrepancy in this top lane. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah, because Dante just does this to tanks, though, right? Like, he's just... Yeah. He is the tank bullier. True. Cassante does indeed do that. I think Cassante does that to most people. <laughs> um, yeah. Amumu coming down here, though, into the bot lane, uh, looking for just a classic lane gank, isn't going to be seen. 
They have no wards. Walks into the alcove to try to get into that middle bush. It looks like they sought their successfully and Crash Panda ease forward, has to flash, and is just he is just dead. There's no way he gets out of this. Summoners used ignite. Yep. He flashes away, and Brom goes back in to try to like save him, and a double kill goes over to kills on this Seraphine. Yeah, it's just, it's, uh, you know, Ian Ford when we don't need to, right? You don't know where the jungler's at. You have to play a little more respectfully against these better teams. Um, because, you know, they are, they are able to recognize the wave state and when they need to cover, uh, when lanes are in a bad spot. But it, uh, right. not a, not a great, not a great thing. Conduit any carries and using their E to engage. Name a better duo. That's true, that is almost the... Oh, this is, this could be huge. Do oh. Actually doesn't dodge through it, and Asians here could flash in to get the EQ and will. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. play. E Wukong, not even six, doesn't matter because Stubby was able to land the really nice ultimate, put it right down the center, so if uh, Kasante tried to dash, still gets hit, just clips him on the edge, and Wukong comes in to secure the kill. Yeah, Finbok not... Not respect flashing there, saying, you know, kind of playing chicken with it, and unfortunately loses that one. Yeah, and uh, I gotta say, it's pretty pretty cool to see Dobbs keeping up with farm against Induced here on the, the brand versus Yone, especially with uh, how aggressive and scary Yone can be from across the map with his abilities. Very fair champion, so that's pretty good to see. And the, the top CS gap has been kind of closed. And this is exactly what I was talking about with... Ooh. Induced able to do that to a brand and Dobbs still keeping up in CS within five to ten. Um and the jungle CS is like neck and neck. Although I do like this, it looks like Nation might want to uh clone over the wall here and potentially try to take this. Uh will show on the ward though because he jumped into the middle of the pit. So Dorado's aware that this is being taken. It looks like a Moomoo's going to do the same thing to the dragon, but both teams are aware that the other one has started this without being aware that they know about it, if you know what I'm saying. So I don't think either I don't think either team's going to actually do anything about it though. Yeah. Seems like a handshake for the objective. Uh, maybe. Cassanta is moving. When is that skin coming out? Cassanta. Santa oh, worked. oh, oh. Close. Oh. Very close. Cassanta should have been a launch skin, I agree. Uh, best Santa skin in the game, if it ever comes out. <laughs> yeah. I, I like what Stubby's doing here. Trying to hold the engage. Oh, but we get the ult out of Cassante here onto Ooh. the Orn and, and, like, goes nowhere. Stubby just throws it the thumbs up and uh. walks back onto the tower. And uh, now uh, Fenwalk has to be careful because he's uh, not in range. Amumu's coming down here from the bottom. Nation's here, will instantly ult, but Brand is nowhere to do anything about it. And Amumu gets onto Dark, does pop Curse of the Sad Money. Oh, and the charm goes perfectly over top of all of them, and Brahm is just trying to do something and is unable to do anything there. And that is another kill here in the bot lane. Meanwhile, Dobbs, do they end up getting the kill in the mid lane. Yeah, that seems like maybe it was a misplay by Induce, because Induce, last one we checked, was just really out of there. Um, but this is what, you know, the bot lane does. They they get fed when... They, they just have so much CC, so... You know, if you... You can't really ever fight them. You, you have to just be respectful. Yeah, it's going to be hard uh, to ever kind of fight this. This rel Seraphine combo, like you're saying. Not only do they have all the CC in the world, they got tons of healing, and Seraphine does a scary amount of damage as well. Seraphine went sword shoes. Yeah, just wants to absolutely pen and do a bunch of damage. I kind of like it. I hate it. Why? You have so much damage already on this team. You don't need the extra magic. Where's the damage? rest of the oh. damage? Because Sante only does damage when he ults, so Mumu's not really going to do damage other than when he ults. It's just Yone. Mumu's conquer. Because Sante does a million damage. Only when all. he yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's only when Cassante ults will he be doing a bunch of damage. Yeah, so like I, I think I think the sword shoes is fine. Should be cooldown boots. CDR better. Maybe. Wait, where's Crow at? 
it, it's this is when we need Crow to join the cast. Crow was in the chat. I just need her to answer this simple question about Sork sho shoes on Seraphim. Yeah, but like, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's absolutely right. But uh, we oh, can get oh, an opinion of a resident pretty good. Is genetics thinks that Seraphine thing. genetics thinks that Seraphine going Sork shoes is bad. Mm -hmm. uh, on the Seraphine here, and I think it's good. Miss Shockwave says CDR isn't as big a deal on W after the rework. Mm. I don't read the past notes, but I appreciate it. Uh, speaking of uh, appreciating it, uh, yeah. it's looking like Dorado's going to appreciate this Brom donating a third kill over. Uh, oh, the flash forward and gets to the Curse of the Sad Mummy. Tuka's being able to get tons of stuff done here. It actually gets both flash or gets Ezreal's flash. Wukong flash at the beginning of that fight as well. Uh, so uh -oh. Dorado they just playing this just really me. well. Yeah, they. I don't think they're allowed to be here anymore. Yeah, definitely not. Pro thinks CDR is better since Q is your main damage. But what's better, doing more damage per Q or queuing a little bit more often? I feel like it evens out. I think we just have to ask both of them how much mastery they have on the champion. And I don't care. Just take, take that <laughs> answer. I think, I think that's what it is. Anyways, back to the game. Uh, so uh, <laughs> Yone doing the classic poke that uh, I think is just obnoxious and not fun to play against. Yeah, Riot Games and their new Tangled Champ design. Riot August. Uh, Fenbot getting a plate there, just completely ignoring Stubby and attacking the tower, and I like this, uh, out of Stubby trying to do a little bit of damage back. Um, so looking at the, looking at the CS though, Amumu ahead by almost, or over, yeah, just about 20. <laughs> Top lane up by 15, almost 20. Mid lane is about even, bot lane, we're up by 5, so... Looking at it, uh, it makes sense where the gold lead is. About 500, 700 into the side of Dorado. They got one kill and they got a decent uh, uh, CS chunk over them. But this might be one of the first like actual team fights we're gonna see. And it looks like Stubby is roaming down. So Stubby will already be here. Fenbach will have the TV if he wants. And Rel just kind of walks right into nothing. And that's half their health. Dark flashing over the wall. Um, yeah. And gets nothing out of it. Didn't need to do that. Uh, and Rel. Uh, Conduit is, or I mean, Dorado is going to see that Stubby has roamed down here now. And this is a 5v4. They can either choose to, and they are, they're TPing down Fenbach. He is on a flank angle, but they get the dragon already. And now they got to be careful. This guy is in the middle of nowhere and could alt summon over this oh, long man. wall and really separate him and will. Gets him right out of there. Wukong is already dead. Didn't even get a chance to ult. And has to, everyone has to run away. Conduit is on the back foot. Not worth for a cloud, in my opinion. Cloud high is win uh, rate soul, though. Well. It's not cloud soul. But I know what you're saying. Oh, no. Actually, wait. Here comes Dobbs. This could be huge. The stun. One, two auto cracks Ooh. away. But has the flash. Respect flash. Uh -oh. Here's Stubby though. Oh, well, he's, he, he's probably just gonna dodge over the wall, but Dobbs with the fantastic flash EQ to get the stun off and then lands the W pillar of flame for the finale. Takes out the Cassante. So they end up getting one trade back. So it ends up after all is said and done, only being a one for one plus Drake. So not terrible. I just say how much I appreciate Dobbs really taking this uh oblivion orb I, oblivion orb this never happens in i appreciate that thank you so much yeah i think uh i think i think jjh and i mentioned anti-heal about 19 times last night and only saw it about three of those 19 times so i agree i think it's awesome mm -hmm. this uh this move is definitely ahead in camps right now i don't know how this jungle stack item stacking works uh, yeah, uh, it's just you get one uh, stack Ooh. per camp with an additional per treat. You get a treat every minute starting at uh, three minutes or three and a half minutes. Moon with the, the banish toss into the Curse of the Sad Mummy, though. 
Yone ulting over two oh. conduit members, getting them both so low, but Dobbs is able to just walk away like nothing oh. happened. Brahms the only one that falls, and they get the trade back onto Cassante. It looks so good out of Dorado, but it ends up being a one for one. Yeah, that Dobbs. Dobbs prayed to someone for that one. Living oh, this could okay. be huge! Induce flashes over the wall. This is gonna be a kill over to Ezreal onto the support. And Nation really wants this, but has to back away. Seraphine comes in with a double E. Wow, really, really well played there. I would, you know, I think Dorado actually played that really well. It's just unlucky that the brand lives, and then Cassante tried to make something happen off of it, and and kinda entered, entered there. Yeah, it wasn't intentional though. Just made a little bit of a oopsie. Yeah. How do you like the word "int" no longer means intentional feeding? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we really miss you. <laughs> yeah, it's like I this, remember this may be the most misused. <laughs> in legal yeah, inting and toxic are like absolutely oh. overused. <laughs> um. Uh, it looks like Brandon's gonna TP back to mid lane though. Wave is in a decent spot for him. Cassante catching the wave here up against the tower. That minion is in tower range, I swear. <laughs> um, well, we got the we got the swap. Yoni is down at the bot side, matching the Ezreal Braum. And I like that Braum uh, sees that ward there. I think this is correct, putting, putting the Yone in the side lane, letting the Yone get solo XP when possible. It's, uh, just the, the smarter lane so much at this point in the game. Yeah. I uh, I don't disagree. Um, are you surprised that Brand hasn't swapped, especially with the turret down already? <laughs> no, I think Brand's perfectly fine to, to stay, stay mid. Because uh, if realistically if Brand goes bot in the longer lane, it's pretty pretty cursed. Uh, you get dove on repeat. I see, I see. So it's, I think it's important just to keep your bot lane down there. But it looks like they're gonna have to be forced to back off because that dive gets threatened anyways because it's a relative move. So they're gonna give bot lane tier one, and it will be Dorado trying to play through the bots half of the map while Conduit will play through mid, going for this upcoming dragon. Yeah, and this is Cloud Soul, I believe. Yeah, I, yeah, I see the the plants. Always gotta be careful with the the wrong dragon showing up on the spectator client. I gotta say, I'm really happy to see that that bug from yesterday is no longer in the game. Where uh, everything that appeared was saying 999 and 45,000. <laughs> that yeah. thing was obnoxious. Now, granted, I don't know what champions would do that this game. Uh, I know the big one was Jarvan, right? That was all yeah, and like Ziggs bombs, like even though the Scuttle Crab, like if we looked over the Scuttle yeah. Crab, it would just be saying 1111. It was just any particle, like. Uh, so it was obnoxious, but here we go. We're about to have a team fight. We do see the uh, the speed up being used, and Ooh. Amumu goes in. Curse the sad mummy in the back line, but there's no follow up, and Cooper is just in the middle by himself and yeah. will get taken out. Yone all completely misses. Trash Panda doing a ton of damage. Unstoppable. The uh, dragon's gonna finish him off on the back side of the map, but Cassante's doing a ton of damage. Goes unstoppable. Is just killing everyone. Cassante gets the double oh, kill. Sunray flashes over up. the wall. But it doesn't matter because everyone is also over there and Conduit takes a five for two win and they're gonna get the Drake. Yeah, this should absolutely be Conduit trying in here. Um they are the, the victors and they get the spoils of war because of it. Um really Coop just went in and, and for whatever reason no one wanted to press their go buttons with them. So I don't know if maybe it was a spacing thing where Seraphine Alt and Yone were just slightly out of range. I know that Yon did miss ult there, but yeah, Coop, Coop just got a little too far ahead there. I wasn't tracking the Braum. Maybe they, uh, maybe Seraphine was like afraid that Braum would just block the ultimate and was trying to bait Braum to use it on the back, but I don't know what happened, but it was just, uh, it was an unfortunate fight. And then Yone missing the ultimate completely, taking a bunch of damage and then snapping right back into the clutches of the Drake. Uh, and then ends up getting killed by the Ocean Drake. Uh, is just super unfortunate. But even after all of that, it's only a 1,000, actually 800 gold lead for Conduit. But they are up a Drake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're up a drag. Um, and gold has really just been in this, like, sub-2k 
right? I think this may be Kato's first gold lead of the game. Yeah. But uh, everything's kind of on a nice edge right now. Yeah, any, any fight like that will either completely even it back up or could really snowball Conduit ahead. So Toronto's got to be very careful on their next fight because it could be... It could spell the end of uh, the end of their positioning. Where right now it's still not too bad. You got really nice late game going here, and nice E buffer to not actually get pulled back by Q3 from Cassante there. Uh, item wise, <laughs> is 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 uh, is Orn gonna finish a mythic here and just got the bramble for the fun, like just to have? I, or is, are they getting thorn mail next? I can't tell. <laughs> uh, I think you get bramble just just to stop any heal cut. But right. I think. Well, actually, I don't know what Jaxo items are. Yeah, it. I know that the the Aegis builds into them, but yeah, I don't know. The only person, the only people without mythics though right now are Amumu and uh, the Orn. See, like Amumu looks like Jaxo because I think there's Kindle Gem in Jaxo. So, but there might also be a giant's belt. Mm -hmm. In the moment, I forget. <laughs> I don't play uh, many Jack yeah. Show champions other than yeah. like Amumu. To, to be fair, it's not the 205. I don't need a mythic. True. I don't, I don't need no mythic in his life. Yeah, I mean, look at everyone on Kondo's playing really well. The person that's supposed to die in the fights, Braum, is the only one really dying. So, uh,. Cotton playing it really well. Induced having trouble picking up the red buff there, though. That was, that was kind of funny. <laughs> Ezreal going to get that red buff on the top side, so we'll be both uh, all four red buffs on the map at the moment. Uh, but blue buff is up for Conduit, so they will be potentially plus one or plus two buff here. Uh, Baron, the only objective on the map for the next 120 seconds. Uh, do you think we just kind of have uh, just a wait out until the next uh, objective? Like, or yeah. do you... Yeah, it, uh, unless someone gets, like, a pick goes to really wrong for one of these teams, there's no reason for um, anyone to fight before this next dragon. N neither of these teams do dragon fast enough, or baron fast enough to even try to bait it, try to bait a fight start. Here comes a pick so. that could go wrong. Ooh. Knock up out of induced. Orn is going to land Ooh. the Orn horn, and that is so much damage. Induced will alter over the wall and flash. That is an insane oh my play. Lanta. We thought it was crazy that Dobbs lived, but man, same with induced. Here comes an Ezreal alt, but I don't think it's going to hit. Yeah, that's a. I will say that's a lot of Yon's power down. Uh, he's not going to have the flash. I guess he will have the alt back up by the time Dragon. I. Not too familiar with his cooldowns, oh, so he will. that is good. Uh oh. Najin being a little greedy here. Yeah, but the Dobbs ult ends up hitting and gets a little bit of damage off, and oh. yo, Induce goes too far and is gonna burn down yeah, to the brand and the ignite, ignite as well. But here comes Cassante in the back. This is a lot of damage that Conduit's taking. Stubby's able to get out and get the knockup onto Anderson though, and he still has an ult and he might just have to use yeah. cleanse here and will. Ezreal is chasing down kills oh, and is oh, able oh, to get oh, it. Amumu is just getting run down by an Ezreal. Brahms here for the backup. Triple kill going to Trash Panda. Five for nothing. Rel's the only one that's back alive, and they're just going to go straight to the Baron. Yeah, and with five members strong, they do this very quick. Brand absolutely melts this. Two item Ezreal absolutely melts this. Uh, you have Born passive even. Brahm passive like this will die fast. Now they probably will end up giving over the dragon. Um, just based on back timers and spawn timers. Uh, well, they're definitely now because the dude's just it, teleported to it. Yeah, but it's it's overall, I think, huge win for Conduit. Um, you know, getting yeah. to, to take that away. And it's a real gold lead now. 5k. Five, 5k, two dragons apiece, but plus Baron to Conduit, 16 to 8, so double the kills. And uh, the one scary thing about that is there is a lot of bounties across the three three of the five Conduit players. Yeah, the big the big targets, right? Mid and top of the AD all have these bounties. Um, it'll be, see, be interesting to see if uh, any of those are collected. I'm actually curious. Oh, it looks like we're 4-1-ing. We're taking 
the Ezreal all the way across him. Oh, Bronkyu did hit him. Oh. That's so, it's so, yeah, it's there's just nothing that a deuce can do. Kills is running away, trying to get to. The Rel will get there, but Dobbs with another double kill here in the top side of the map. And Conduit has all this standing gold still because we're 27 minutes in and it's one to one in turrets. Like, we're just now getting outer towers. Yeah, this seems like a bit of a misplay from the Seraphine and the Rel, not the hard shove the wave there. Just to try to get down that mid turret, uh, alleviate some of the map pressure there um we'll see what ends up happening sunrise sunrise split oh and sunrise got yeah he's able oh, to just jump over the wall though the wall. is uh is 1322 live uh, mm, yes okay so yeah brand got buffed again because 1322 had an ap ratio and base damage buff on the e so this mid brand is feeling good, and it also has the the auto attack buffs as well, where the mages have more attack speed and missile speed on their abilities. I mean, on their auto attack. So, Dobbs well, showing off the new and improved brand. Yeah, and uh, if they if, if they're trying to play a comp like this, that it's absolutely vital that this gets banned away. Of course, they don't know the brand's gonna get picked R five, right? But man, I don't know if there was a better R five pick this game. Uh, you were calling it out all the way from the start of the match, and Conduit is really uh, just running this game at the moment. And uh, I gotta say, I'm impressed, especially considering they had the sub, uh, and they're they're playing with not even their normal roster. You wouldn't uh, you wouldn't know that just based on how this game is going. Yeah, it, I think uh, Panda, Panda, and uh, Dark are doing really well bot lane, um, and and Stubby, of course. It, one of the conduit stream favorites like, of his time on fever with fever so it's uh you know definitely playing well yeah uh, and uh this tower's oh, dead conduit got four towers off that baron mm -hmm. and uh now there's another three minutes till baron two minutes till the ocean dragon and uh they are just continuing to keep up the pressure objective bounties are up for uh dorado here so they could at any point uh, sneak in some outer towers or or a drake or something and get a little influx of gold because the gold lead has just ballooned even farther. We're up to nine thousand, eight and a half thousand gold. Yeah, and uh, that's yeah. What one one bad fight can really do um, for you, especially with the Baron up, right? Mm -hmm. They can really go away quickly. Right. And look at this. This, look, this is crazy. Just threatening the dive makes it so Kasante has to back off. Although, if there's one champion I don't think I would ever want to dive, it's Kasante. <laughs> right, if you remember his uh, like announcement video. Actually, Aww. hold on. All he even gets the flash and the W, so it looks like that uh, will make it out in time. The nice double root on the two slowed uh, players out of Seraphine as well. And Yone is getting the big split uh cashing in on those objective bounties i was just talking about yeah yeah it's oh Cassante good. walking up a little too far gonna take a bunch of burn damage but look at that additional 650 gold that yone just got for his team yeah that's uh correct for Cassante, right i mean you're in a position where the best thing you can do is try to split the team up and and not take 5v5s because you lost the last two or three uh, pretty badly. So, go get the objectives where you can. Dragon's about to spawn, so uh, Conduit kind of hot not, not watching that uh, objective. Yeah, focusing a little too hard on the bot side of the map without anyone to answer the top side. And Cassante and Seraphine are double TP in top side. Yeah. Wait, they triple TP top side. Yeah, this is uh this is saying the game is in a bad spot for us. We have to try to pull the trigger here. Dobbs insta ults when he gets in, and it's so much damage. Trash Panda jumps in as well and just melts the Seraphine. Cassandre's gonna go all out, and Stubby was unstoppable, so no one <laughs> follows with him. Probably a good thing there. And now <laughs> Nations waited here the whole time. 
And here he comes. They're just going to go in. Amumu has to pop curse of the sad mummy. It's going to be a 50 50 smite fight. And it's going to come up conduit. And they're going to be able to finish off this kill. Anderson Cooper's going to have to flash over the wall. And Nation's following. Will be able to E on to him. But he queues oh. over to the Krugs. He can still W over mean. the wall to follow if he really, really wants to chase this. I don't think it's the right idea. But where's Induce going to go? He's going to alt away north into this top river. The flashes, the damage, oh, wow. everyone lands all the sp spells that matter the most. And just like that, when Dragon or when Baron is up and Dragon is up, Dorado makes a play, a desperate play, one of those 30 70 plays. And unfortunately, 70% is the bigger number. Conduit's going to win everywhere and get this Baron. Yeah, it's, I mean. They, they got a little bit of damage on the turret, but they lost a lot off of it. This is, uh... This is pretty, pretty huge. Dorado is in desperation mode at this point for game one. Uh Start thinking about game two draft at this point, potentially get, get everyone ready and... Look for that crazy play. I liked what they did in the top side of the map. Maybe if they can keep holding out, they still will be able to try to do something like that again. Because uh, they still have bounties everywhere. There's a thousand gold on Ezreal, nine hundred gold on Bran. So, yeah, this Bran's level eighteen. Yeah. So, it actually doing insane damage. Five items, just they and a stopwatch. So basically six items. Dude, this zombie was complete. But it's uh, uh, a crazy lead for Condo right now. We're up to nine. I guess the 9k still been there, but map is getting a little spooky. It looks like we're trying to, to bait. Oh, we're just clearing vision. And it looks like uh, everyone's every... doing the right thing here. Yeah, just shoving the midwave. Everyone's wave. top of the midwave. Get it in. There's no Baron minions there to stop you. Um, but she's gonna have to get back really quickly. No TP. Yeah, and uh, man, the push is just happening on all fronts. Seraphine's not gonna be here. Might have overstayed the push for a single objective, Mountie. Just get the wave in and back for your team because this is, man, the, the top and the bot are both getting absolutely pushed in. Oh, Cooper with a nice engage here, but Braum blocks the Seraphine ult, and it's looking like it's not going to matter, but Conduit's taking a lot of damage here, but man, there's just wallets are way too fat comparatively, and that is looking like a, what is that, three kills for nothing? Conduit winning up large here, still has Baron for another 50 seconds, can get this mid shoved in, can get the top inhibitor, and we even have uh, Braum backing for health. Might not make it back in time. Doesn't really have TP. So it's an interesting back when they're looking like they want to end the game. I like what Nation's doing here. Going to the bot side, though, to get the final wave here to this final uh, inhibitor tower. Uh, crucially, they somehow didn't get the top inhibitor. Yeah, this is a, a missed play from Conduit. I think you do just play through the end. Um, you know, you're strong enough with five strong. That you can just oh, his ult got interrupted? Wow. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that was... I, I've also never seen that. I wonder if it's because an Asian E'd in front of it, or W'd in front of the... Like, right where he ulted, so it just took him there. I I would like to watch... I wish you could watch that back like an instant replay, because that's almost what it looked like. Yeah. That was insane. And this is looking like Conduit's going to... Yeah, Conduit looks like they're going to be able to win this anyways. And, uh... And Cassante's trying, gets a really big shield. Another Curse of the Sad Mummy looks pretty good. If the gold was a little bit closer, Conduit would have lost that fight. Because that was, like... Uh, Dorado's team doing exactly what it wants to do. They just don't have the money to penetrate through the Conduit health bars. And it looks like Conduit's going to take... The game one being up one to nothing. Yeah, yeah, really, really solid game from uh, Phoenix, right? They fought around the dragons really well. Um, of course, Dobbs, Dobbs and Panda lead the way in damage, and that's a huge damage difference in the mid lane. 
Yeah, that is insane. Yeah, nearly triple the damage uh, mid. And I again, there's sometimes that we criticize R five picks, but man, I don't know if you get a better R five. I thing feel like I criticize R five eighty percent of the time versus twenty. The R five might be a good pick, but it's never like R five worthy. And if you know what I'm saying, like a lot of times you don't see those crazy like checkmates. And man, this might have been that. One of the best R5s I've seen in a while. Dobbs playing out of his mind. 25 KDA. Everyone on Conduit dying only once except for support. I, I don't think you could have asked for a better game on a Conduit. Just a few little mistakes that even like anyone makes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw it to a quick break, though, while we get ready for champ select in game number two. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to draft for game number two here between Conduit, Phoenix, and Dorado uh, Road here. We do not have a side swap, so Dorado opting to stay on the blue side. I'm Black Eyed Peas here, joined by Genetics. Genetics, what are you expecting to see as a change coming into this game? I think the Seraphine uh, did not work well. I think that will get dropped from draft. I suspect they'll probably first pick jungle for the side of Row. Uh... Uh, well, <laughs> as I as, as talk, they say, bet. All right, bet. No, run that back. Uh, I feel that. Hey, man, more power to him. Yeah, maybe, they, uh, maybe the Seraphine will, will go mid instead. It, it's possible. So far, um, this draft is identical. No bans changed. Yeah, the Salty run back kind of kind is a little wild. Right. But um, there's, there's the change up. Was, change up as Zin. Yeah, Zin's pretty good as at fighting uh at, at fighting Wukong. And I like the Syndra pick early here too. Syndra. It, it tells yeah. you that Seraphine's going bottom, but Cinder was banned in the second rotation by Conduit last time. And then Deuce probably just Dude, said gimme. Seraphine can still be support though. Because I think a lot of her rework was meant to shift some of her power. I just meant bot lane. I meant I yeah. doubt it'd be Seraphine yeah. min with Syndra something else bot. Yeah, I understand. And I like the Oriana response here. Might wow. as well pick a mid laner before they can ban you ban out counters. So we got a bot lane, a jungle, and a mid picked by each. Uh so time to see if uh Kano just wants to ban tops since they don't really know where Seraphine wants to like what role Seraphine's gonna want to play here. And uh interesting to see what Dorado's gonna ban away because they could be on top or support. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, a specific ban I think they absolutely need to take away for Ro. Um, We'll see if it gets a ban. You think I that think champion double. goes top lane? No. No, I, I do not. Then why do you think Ro has to ban it? Unless I'm not on the same page as you. I don't think you're on the same page as me. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. It will be Nar and Orn, though. It's the first two bands of the second rotation, and Rel is going to be banned by Phoenix. So yeah. they're, they're not going to let Dorado have Rel here, which, why would you pick Rel um. when Xin Zhao and Rel do the exact opposite thing? <laughs> This is the, the uh, pick I was referring to. Um, I would really like to see, like, a, maybe a Renata takeaway here for Conduit because I think Renata goes really crazy and could potentially be really good with this Zenzo. Um, Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger, not good here. Heimerdinger. Please don't hide me. Okay, Rakan. I don't like Rakan here. Yeah, I do not either. I'm not a huge fan of Rakan here. Um, I think you either you just lock like Zelene or you lock Renata for Dorado and just play double enchant their bot lane with a a Giga champ top like Jax or something like that. And you just I mean, didn't didn't oh. Jana didn't Jana get like a mini rework? Uh, I'm I'm not sure. 
the Nautilus. So I, we really don't know these teams, huh? <laughs> we really. I was saying Renata sounded good. He said, give me Nautilus. I love it. Right. What's the final pick going to be? Cassante again. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Stubby gets he's... the counter into Cassante. Like, both solo lanes get countered here. Yeah, I think the Cinder Ori matchups like a uh, skill matchup mostly. I'm uh, not sure. Yeah, I guess Conduit got to pick into both solo. Yeah. But this one is a crazy one. And there it is. And there it is. Now, how much? Now, now, now. Now. Dobbs goes top, Stubby goes mid. That would be troll. Dobbs Mordekaiser troll? No, I'm sorry. Uh, Stubby, I don't know if you remember. I know Stubby's Stubby is, is good too, but like... I'm just saying. Stubby used to play for a TA team back in the day when we first played in Titan uh, together. And he built Collector on Mordekaiser. And proceeded to get like thirty kills against us. But let's not let's not say Stubby isn't good at I never at said small. that. I never said that at all. I think I think things went as well as you would expect them to go, so you just play the same thing back. I think that's the best bet. Alright. <laughs> we'll have to see. We will have to see. Comp wise though, who do you like more? Uh, I don't think that supplementing Zen Zhao for Mumu is going to change anything. And the Syndra, I mean, they're really similar comps uh, into, for Rel. And even how Conduit, I guess, kind of want to play. They want to play these, like, clump fights. <laughs> I like Conduit's comp way more this game. I agree. Wukong is so good at ball delivery. So is Rakan. So, like, you go in, Wukong presses R, Oriana ults over top of it, Wukong ults again with the Rakan knocking him up. Like, it is such an easy, like, pick one or two people combo. Uh, I also like Conduit's uh, draft more. Um, I actually liked Dorado's last draft a little bit more than this one. Mm -hmm. But we'll have to wait and see. Syndra is a pretty good champion, but I just think Oriana's, like, the best mid laner in the game right now. So, at least was. We'll have to wait and see. We're going to go uh, finish up to this champion select. And uh, Stubby did lock in the Mordekaiser, so no shenanigans happening here. But we will be back in a few minutes once we get through this uh, spectator delay. Don't go anywhere for game two between Conduit uh, Phoenix versus Dorado Row. Be right back. Build collector. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to game number two here between the best of five between Conduit Phoenix and Dorado Gaming Row. I'm Black Eyed Peas here, joined by Genetics. And it uh, looks like we're just going to have a default five uh, five point yet again between these two teams. Uh, during Champs, like we were talking about how we think Conduit's team comp is more cohesive and uh, kind of makes a little bit more sense comparatively to what Dorado was picking and drafting here. Genetics, now that you see everyone in game and their runes and their items, are you still feeling the same? Yeah, yeah, still feel, still feel uh, the same way. I think... Uh... The ring selection doesn't really change much between. The yeah, but teams. do you see the thing that I see? I see what you see. Clearly not. Uh. PTA on Ezreal. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. I see that. Nautilus has glacial though, which I think is very incorrect. I think it's. I think glacial's fine on Rel, but I think it's not good on Nautilus. I so think. I will say. Aftershock's this... really good. I will say the way they played game one, and I suspect they're going to try to play game two sim similar, I think it's fine if they can make it work with setting up the Zen to just turbo kill. Because if this Zen gets rolling, he's one of the hardest champions to stop the rolling. Yeah, uh, Zen Zao is one of those champions that I really like playing like every once in a blue moon, because it's like if you get fed, man, it is hilariously OP. One of the things that I've never learned 
even though I know I, it's like what I'm supposed to do every time I play Zen is I forget to like alt for the additional damage and I like hold my alt to save me mm -hmm. and uh, I'm trying to get better at that uh, but this time we actually have a uh, we, we're not mirroring the jungle starts we have uh, Nation starting top again but this time Anderson uh, starting on the bot side so jungles will yeah, not be meeting up, up. That is uh, definitely interesting. Especially when your bot is getting pushed in like this. I mean, you don't know that ahead of time, but you can always ask and to see like, hey, you guys gonna get shoved. It looks Ooh. like he wants to do some early mid shenanigans here though. This is one of my all time favorite gank paths when I am blue team is to just start red buff and go straight oh, for wow. a mid gank, but it's not gonna work because he just shows and Oriana's playing a little too safely here. Dobbs really understanding the early timers. And that lets Wukong get ahead in this jungle pathing. Uh, skipping wolves again. I don't yeah, know. I, maybe, maybe it's just we don't know something about level one wolves that makes them just not worth taking. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's a little weird. Uh, I always take level one wolves. I think it's something that is just worth taking. Uh, but I also am a full clear sucker. So what can I say? Um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but you notice Zin's not taking level one wolves either. That's yeah, right. It's huh. They both did the exact same thing. So I don't know what's happening. Yeah, see, it's it's just you don't know. You've been out of the game too long. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Old man peas. <laughs> uh, uh, Stubby getting kind of pushed in here. Um, will get hit with that Q3, but times the shield perfectly. Dobbs has to flash, and okay, okay, does. Uh, which is very good, because would have gotten knocked up, potentially would have gotten hit by the uh, W as well, so really nice flash out of Dobbs uh, to stay alive. But uh, it looks like Wukong's about to get spotted by the Scry's Boom, but they're going in anyways, and Rakan knockup doesn't hit either one, and they don't have the Braum for the stuns, and oh no, Ezreal gets oh. hit. But Wukong's still here, but here comes Zin Zhao. <laughs> he cleanses the Ignite, trying to hope he gets his E ready. He flashes into the alcove, though. This is actually oh, a really wow. smart play by Trash Panda. He's sitting away. He can't get hit by anybody. Anderson Cooper's about to die, has to flash away. There's no way Nautilus is going to get the first blood, though. It's so tragic for Conduit, but they're still fighting. Nation really wanting to go forward, seeing how low everyone is. But Conduit's going to have to back out of this. Meanwhile, Stubby on the top also getting poked pretty heavily by this Cassante. Yeah, that was a really heads-up play for Sunray there to, to basically realize you have your entire health bar to play with and you're a Nautilus, so you just tank a... Lot of it she walks up kills the other yeah I, I panda played that very well but unfortunately they just couldn't get the, the finish on on the coop there so it does end up making it away and coop didn't get an assist on that though either i realized that no one got an assist on that it's a literal solo bolo for the yeah. Nautilus. yeah ezreal was uh out of combat for so long that no one ended how up getting funny. an assist how funny is that that's unlucky yeah, that's actually unlucky because that doesn't really do anything. Ezreal's still up over 20, or 20 over 10 CS, uh, so kind of really didn't do much. It looks like it actually might have hurt the bot lane a little bit. Oh, but the scout of the week lands true. Dredge line follows up on the Dobbs. Dobbs doesn't have flash from the earlier gank, and the outplay button lands true. Really, Although really this is play. this is when uh, Mordekaiser oh. just absolutely one v ones and destroys will flash to get the flash Q. Dom's getting the solo kill in the top lane. Everyone pinging everything. Stubby. Stubby getting the solo kill in the top lane. Oh yeah, my bad. Sorry, I see Mordekaiser and Dobbs in the same game. It's just a thing. <laughs> just a thing that I'm gonna do. It's just a thing you're gonna do. Um yeah, I will say the the farm differential in the mid lane is very big. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, Huh. Oh, Dobbs halting for Kyle? Yeah, it seems like it. Damn it. Yeah, it was like all the all the boys were around just didn't wanna they didn't wanna pull the trigger. Oh, oh no. Majin is in a bit of a predicament. You, uh, if only if only uh Dobbs had ult now. Oh. Ooh, Sky of the Week might be almost off cooldown. 
But here comes Nautilus. And uh, Nautilus doesn't run forward, so uh, only one tragedy there. But now, this is a very different game, uh, early game, that we're seeing out of Dorado here. And uh, really using their early game champion uh, of Xin Zhao uh, to really make an impact on the map here. Yeah, yeah just kind of flying in. Nasian, so yeah. tilted, he disconnect. No, I'm kidding. He's probably coming back. <laughs> probably. But the fact that it said it's already been paused for almost a minute means this pause is probably going to be a few seconds. Yep. Yep, might as well throw it in the AFK screen. If no one gets any additional vision. Yeah, true. I will, uh, we're going to throw uh, over to the this screen. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Quick intermission. Intermission. The uh, game state wise, uh, Dorado. Dorado kind of running the early game uh, much. Much quicker, much quicker pace game for them so far this game. Yeah. I, uh, I think they got to keep this up because this is a one and a half K gold lead way earlier than any sort of gold chain difference last game. And it looks like this pause might actually be a bit. Yeah. So I'm actually just going to throw it over to a quick break. Uh, just to conserve my voice for this best of five after doing two best of fives in a row. So we will be back as soon as this pause is resolved. Don't go anywhere. All right, everyone. Sorry about that extended delay here between the two games or between uh, game two for this pause. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Nation has not reconnected to the game. Uh, That's so you. That's maybe, you. He's out here. It looks like he's moving now. Oh, never mind. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, he has not reconnected to the game. I did back it up like 15 seconds. Um, and uh, we they did, we'll uh, to, to be fair, um, Dorado gave them an additional five minutes on the pause. That was like a 15 minute pause. Uh, yeah. But that is because of the fact that Dorado was five minutes late to the game. Conduit was okay with that. Just said whatever. No issues or anything. So uh, they're just returning the favor, being nice there. But this is a best of five. It's only game two, and it's 10-15. And uh, yeah. the team that d has a disconnect is the team that's up one. So this could be a long night. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, worst case scenario, we turn it into a best of three that starts at, you know, 11. Yeah. No big deal. Uh, in a 4v5, though, this might not last too long. Let's hope Nation's able to come back, but, I mean, they did a free Drake. They know it's a 4v5. Everyone in the Rift is aware. Uh, so, basically, everyone, like, as you can see, Anderson Cooper's just gonna, you know, farm Conduit Jungler, Jungle, and Dobbs almost gets solo killed in the mid lane. If Induced had the execute uh, scale, that was a kill. And the Ezreal ult, uh... To steal the blue buff away didn't end up working, but I think it's a it was a valiant effort. Yeah, that'd have been troll if it would have scared Dobbs into trying to flash it. <laughs> because it literally went over Dobbs' character portion. Very spooky. Very a uh, spooktacular indeed. But this is gonna be really hard for Conduit to play without a jungler. Uh just because they they know they can never push up. They don't have any sort of vision in the dark, and uh, they never have Pryo now, so... It is a little unfortunate, but it does seem like Conduit isn't going to play it out, and they're not just going to uh, decide to FF the game in hopes that Nation's able to return. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and realistically, there's a chance that this actually slows down the pace of Dorado, right? Like complacency may set in. Yeah, maybe. We'll have to, we'll have to see if they make... I think Dorado's players are pretty good. And uh, hopefully wouldn't let something like that get to their heads. Uh, just from, you know, just knowing them and as players for as long as I have. But what, who knows? Stubby could pop off and become raid boss Mordekaiser in the top lane. Very possible. This champion is one of those raid boss uh, Juggernaut rework. I gotta say, when the original Juggernaut rework happened, and Mordekaiser was a bot laner, that was like my favorite time. Mm-hmm. To, uh, one of my favorite times to play League of Legends for that, like, month. When he, he could get the dragon. 
Oh yeah, and all you you would go bot lane with the support. It was like you you got solo XP with the support around or whatever. Like the the current Nyla passive was old Morton passive. The the double W thing around him, like his current passive used to be an ability that would apply on both you and a teammate. And then when you got dragon, you would just send it mid lane while staying bot lane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God, it was, awesome. it, it was incredible. And uh. It was the, my favorite part was when you get the Q. The, the, the Q three part Q. The three part Q. And the third and one. The, big, the big bonk, bonk. dude. <laughs> no, the biggest of bonks. And it even didn't it used to like say one, two, and three on the screen? Or something yeah, like I that. I don't know. I don't know. But... I, I just do remember the third bonk was hella damn. Oh man, they're getting oh, dope pick. all the way back here. The ignite ticks. One more tick will do it. And that is a kill onto the mid lane Nautilus 201 support carry. <coughs> this is uh This is looking like it's gonna be a rough uh next uh couple of minutes for Conduit if Nation's not able to get back. Mid tower gone just like that. And uh they can just send everyone bot. They can basically just send everyone everywhere. Are there like no plates left in the the top side or is this just a pause glitch? <laughs> it just be a pause it's just glitch. a pause glitch, okay. It's because no plates have been taken. So it just shows a full tower. I see, I see. That makes sense. It is a pause glitch though, I'm pretty sure it would still say five. Oh the scatter the weak lands true, gets to throw the orb right back on and then lands a Q and Big damage. We have Zin Zhao coming into the bot lane here. Will be spotted by a ward on the tri bush though. So Conduit, good that they had that vision there. But Zin Zhao will spot it out with the Oracle's lens. And we'll decide to take it back here. Level 8 on the jungler. Uh, is uh, pretty pretty decent considering you basically everyone has winning lanes except for top. And, uh, and top's not necessarily down. It's just down a kill. I was gonna say, Mord just gets to alt here, and if he can land a pull, this is a free kill. He's not gonna land a pull, probably for this for the best. Uh, but that's alt for alt in the top side, and I'm pretty sure Stubby's uh, alt has a shorter cooldown than Cassante's alt, uh, or they're about the same, because they both kind of do the same thing. They separate like one other per you and one other person from a fight. In theory, so they're probably similar similar cooldowns. Uh, I was about to say Nation only level four, but then I remembered. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Well, at least we know that he'll get catcher back XP. Really nice, unstoppable use there of the Cassante. I believe that's the W. Um, Cassante has a Relia W. Now this is interesting. Rakan is up in the top side. Placing wards uh, has decided that maybe protecting top is just more important than the Ezreal. Ezreal's kind of a solo lane, and they know that the, the Nautilus is just roaming around as well. Yeah, I mean, you're not even allowed to go in your own jungler jungle at this moment because you might just run into a, a Xin Zhao at any point. But Conlon's trying to keep up the wards. Xin Zhao's doing a good job of clearing them. They have vision in a lot of places. But I mean, Conduit's definitely trying their best. Uh, definitely, though, on the back foot here, 14 minutes into the game and down by 4k. Oh, wait, he goes back Ooh. in Ooh. and gets the uh, the Oriana ult there, but uh, drops the Ignite. Uh, ult for ult out of the mid laners, but unfortunately, there's just more members of Dorado alive. Oh, I guess not alive, around. Yeah, more dudes to play with. Ooh, that was a, a nice little uh, Q3. Looks like Stubby actually wins that trade, but or I mean, Fenbach wins that trade against Stubby, but Stubby can just pop the Giga Shield and heal off of it. And uh, man, this is this is gonna be hard. Not so dark does find the control ward here outside of the red buff, but the gank is happening in the top side. Stubby does have his all back though. And can just ult one of them. And who does he ult? He ults to Zin Zhao. I don't know if that was the play. 
Uh, not so dark is here for support though, and uh, and nothing ends up happening. But now, crucially, Cassandre still has his ult ready, and Mordekaiser's is down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to respect it for a little bit, not get too close to any big walls. <laughs> this is uh, I'm pretty sure I just saw Panda already use E. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. There, there. Oh, that's a really good oh. cleanse, though. And he eats backwards, oh. and the, the Q hits a minion. That would have been the kill. Oh, 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 that's so tragic. Oh, man. Maybe Ezreal has the foresight to, like, know that he's there. Doesn't have the health. Not worth it with the Seraphine so close. Cinder's roaming down, too. Cinder's going to run into Rakan, thankfully. Oh, no. Get out, play button. Yeah, it is, uh... Probably the freest kill induced has gotten in a while. <laughs> Just literally didn't have to do anything but press one button. Well, two buttons. Landed the Q and pressed R. Uh, so, yeah, this is it's getting harder and harder for Conduit as time goes on. Yeah, and Zin's just gonna keep getting further and further uh, ahead of me. So. Wow. It's eventually, yeah, gonna be to a Even if we let's get back into 4 and 5. Yeah, catch up XP will be pretty large, but large enough, I don't know. Oh no, they're sending, <laughs> they're sending the gang. Up here for Stubby. Stubby misses the pull. Rakan's here, but I don't know how much it's going to matter. <laughs> the dredge line actually misses though, uh, so that's kind of big here. And uh, Oriana's waiting in the back. Looks like they're pinging. They want to go in, but not going to be able to. Oriana's gonna have to just roam back. And is that the Nasian reconnect? No way. It's a Jubate, You think it's a Jubate? Oh! He moved. He, he did, but I don't see anyone, so I don't know what's happening at the moment. Seems like it's just bait. I'm, uh... I'm on the edge of my seat one gonna happen. Oh! Oh my goodness. Does he Alright. Let's hope he doesn't Six just lead let's, hope he, let's hope he just doesn't disconnect really fast. Yeah, that would be tragic if he went to one of his camps and immediately died. This is going to put Dorado on soul point, and I think if you're kind of it, you probably just have to let Dorado have soul and play for like an elder fight all right cooper's only up 28 stacks yeah yeah and you get one per camp plus uh one treat but like you get two per camp if you have a tree you get one per camp and then your treats are additional and you can consume one treat when it's above 20 stacks and you can consume two treats when it's below 20 stacks per camp so like right now, it's just whenever you kill a camp, it just eats it if you have it. You get a treat every minute at the, like, every, at three and a half minutes you get a treat, four and a half minutes you get a treat, five and a half minutes, etc. It just keeps going. It's just additional golden health and initial oh. stacks. Only he kills this, he'll go down to 24. And he, he definitely has a ton of treats. Like, probably 10. He has, he has 12 bonus treats. So... His can't he'll he'll consume this fast. Two more camps will be at twenty, and then he'll start cons getting three per camp until he's out of treat. Yeah, that's awesome. This is good news. Oh, he's six. This this no, might this no, might no 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 no. Right now, I'm saying wanna... like this no. might be when they they find out. I don't know. Do they know he's back yet? 
That, ag oh. that aggressive flash makes me think they didn't realize he was back. And here oh, it is, the engage. No. That is such a good engage by Conduit. Meiju, he just gets deleted, but Orianna gets the kill here. Dark gets shredded as well. Wait, but Stubby is getting a ton of. Oh, uh, Stubby. Yeah. There, like, swimwear. The more the Mord boss, oh, the rain boss. Conduit wins the fight. That's that's like that's a win for Conduit. Now, I will say it does apply more pressure on the map for Dorado because Cassante does break that tier two outer. But you're more than that. It's three kills. And Mord's kind of the win con. Even before Nation disconnected, Mord was kind of the win con. Yeah. I mean, that was just a beautiful uh, bounce that house. A, that was a really good bounce house. Nation has level one alt to, to Zinzel's level two alt. It just says yellow. I'm going in. Isn't it? Not afraid to pull the trigger. Right, I mean, you got to at some point. I mean, it's literally 600 smite to 1200 smite. I don't think I've ever seen that in a game. And that's, I mean, obviously it disconnected. It's not like, there's not a real reason for it. Like, there is there is a real reason for it. There's not like, it's, it's not just negligence or someone inting, so. Is now, Wukong's it, getting a level per hit. What is that? It's because uh, the way Ketchup XP works is... Uh, when you are down by an average of two levels or more, the uh, the camps will give you percentage XP based on how far down you are in levels. So since this is like an unrealistic, he was like level four or five when the average level in the game was probably what, 11? So he's consistently getting a higher, higher percentage of XP. Uh, th as he catches up now, he might get level nine off of like one more camp, but once he's level nine, he won't be his ketchup XP will be dead because Nautilus is level 8. There has to be like 8 out of the 10 champions in the game have to be at least 2 levels above you for ketchup XP to work like lucratively. Yeah. Well, back in my day, if you had disconnected for 20 minutes, you come back and you're level 4 and you're staying level You know ketchup XP just got nerfed, right? <laughs> No, I'm saying like back in. I know you're talking about like pre ketchup old, XP, like when it didn't exist. Yeah. I know. I'm talking about the old League of Legends, the before time when Riot was actually a small indie company. You're talking about League of Legends when Thresh was the most complex kit in the game. What was it? What's the subtitle of League of Legends? I'm talking about League of Legends, the Fates End or whatever. Oh, the thing that like the beta. Uh, Clash of Fates, I think. Yeah. Because like that, that was dropped before launch. They yeah. were they were gonna do a, like a Path of Exile type thing where it would be like League of Legends Clash of Fate, League of Legends this. Like every time they updated it, like with a new like season of content. A oh no. No. Well, you know, actually, kind of get your brain shut. He's just gonna leave. For another 20 minutes, Cooper will be 18, and then he'll be level 16 really fast. <laughs> it makes sense to me. Yeah, and you and you only. <laughs> How tragic. As someone who just upgraded their internet, I want to tell Nation how great it is to upgrade your internet. How long did it take for you to upgrade your internet, though? A long time. I was, I was, me and Nathan, we went to the same church of not believing in upgrading our internet. Yeah, apparently. Oh, they're gonna get the teleport. That was, like, honestly, oh, if, oh my. if Dobbs stood there for, like, one more. Oh, that actually Ooh. hits them both? Yeah. Mordekaiser has to ult someone. Mord doesn't want to ult the Cassante, it's like Cassante tries to ult out. Oh, we'll ult Syndra. Wow! Yeah. Subby perfectly ult Syndra ult, so only maybe half of the balls go through. This is insane! Conrad yeah, is outplaying one. them so the hard! World. But here comes the actual damage. Cassante just jumps and takes Trash Panda over the wall. No! Trash Panda flashes when there was that up there. Conrad were winning the fight, but that's because the fight wasn't the full fight yet. 
Stubby is so low on health now. Dark is trying to get out. Cooper's going to get a kill. Cassante is going to get a kill as well. Dobbs is going to try to hide in the pit. He's going to get spotted by the, the ward. The Nautilus sees all. Could just go kill yourself to the tower and not give it to anyone else, but Dobbs doesn't have the foresight to think of that. Yeah. And that's... I don't know if they can do Baron with just these champions. I don't know Zen damage that well. Zen can do Zen. Like Zen could do Baron now if he wanted to with the two tanking, um, but because of like the risk of like what just happened with more TP in here, for example, is probably not worth it. Yeah. Um, but I mean Zen with Spear of Shojin is just gonna attack so fast, <laughs> like be able to do so much damage to the Baron. Yeah. Yeah. Zen's uh, looking pretty good right now. Pretty good indeed. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what conduit does now. Cause that was Eld elder flip. <laughs> yeah, that's probably. All, that's all you can do if you're in the situation that you're in. Um, yeah, 240 seconds till that happens. Uh, yeah. So you hope Ezreal can upgrade his uh, man immune by then, and this is not the fight you take. Maybe Wukong could get an upgraded oh. smite too. They gotta get out of here. Kasante too strong. Zin's in the back. Zin will just alt. Oh, he pulled him out of the knockup. The Ezreal actually comes in to do some damage, but Rakan's just going to get immediately destroyed. And Stubby is trying to get away. Looks like I was gonna say it was looking like he was doing some damage, but his alt ended up fading. And that's probably gonna be the Baron call. Yep. Uh, well pretty healthy for the side of uh, Dorado, plus they have a Seraphine with bonus healing, so it is not surprising at all. Yep, yeah, and then should we give it? I think you have to give it, um, oh. Yeah. Nation went in way too early. Yeah. Something tells yeah, they, me this is going to be the push to end the game. They don't do it very fast. Oh my. It's, uh, oh my. It is. It is. It is a 10,000 gold lead. Yeah, Nation doesn't even have his jungle item complete, so. Alright, you know. so I. Listen. Earlier today, I was playing a game of League of Legends, and we uh -huh. lost at 29 minutes, and I didn't have my jungle item complete. Did you disconnect for 20 minutes? No, I just sold the... Oh. I literally just sold the fucking item, so it wasn't in my... If you look at my match history, there's no proof. <laughs> <laughs> I sold it before we lost. <laughs> now I, that's funny. I think the proof might be my... I don't know. Does, it, does your match history show what color smite you had? <laughs> I don't know, but I love it. That's <laughs> funny. Uh, it was a game where I was just getting invaded from level one, and then everyone was way too far ahead. It was a, I was on my alt. It wasn't like a silver gold lobby. I wasn't too worried about it. <laughs> we had a teammate. We had a teammate that was like, "I don't want to help you. Whatever I can do to make you lose." And I'm like, "Classic low elo." <laughs> Oh my gosh! These scatter the weeks look like they they miss, but they're still stunned. It's crazy. Still be doing his best to try to do anything against this Baron push. Cinder is all the, man didn't even penetrate the shield with his Q there. Yeah. And it's full. It's I mean, it, it's tank Stubby. Oh, the speed up is too much. Rakan can't even catch him. This tower is just getting melted. Oh, he can go in and dive this if he really wants to. And what did they say about um? Ooh. Ooh. Nice shockwave, but Ooh, not yeah. gonna be enough. Yeah. Not, not enough damage. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh. oh, that was such a clutch flash from Induced. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna matter. Hey. Oh, look at the back. The back of the the back of the team fight is tragic for Conduit. Well. Hey Dobbs, there's a person there. And yeah, your flash doesn't matter when he oh. has a dash. All right, I'm actually, yeah. I'm actually going to uh, stop casting to go play Zin Zhao. He's making it look good. Yeah, Zin Zhao plays hella fun to just turbo get people. 
big fin. Yeah. This is going to be... We are now going into the best of five, 20 to 11. Best the of best three. of three, I mean. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. Like the dog I am. Yeah, me too, me too. He gets the lever penalty. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> now that is funny that even in custom <laughs> That's funny. I don't care who you are, that is funny. Oh man. The lever penalty applied. Can we just talk about the fact that Dobbs had the earth I did it again. Stubby had the most damage. Yeah. Stubby Stubby Giga more like I said, even before Nation uh disconnected, right? It very much felt like Stubby was the wooden con just based on the trades that were being taken. Um, but yeah, once once an Asian DC'd, uh, I mean, they, they had signs of, like, uh, like flashes of brilliance, right? They had moments like that. Right after he uh, hit level 6, they made that engage, and they actually took that fight win. And you think maybe if they're not so far behind um, top lane, maybe that fight goes different, but pretty well. Absolutely tragic. Uh, we're going to throw it to a brief break, though. We'll try to figure out what's going on into this uh, best of three starting up for the semifinals. Uh -huh. We will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to draft number three here for this best of five. Both teams won one after a tragic game two. Don't really know how that game could have went, uh, but Nation was unfortunately disconnected for almost the entirety of it. Uh, so, and when he did come back, it was too late. Conduit though, after that loss, opting to take blue side. So the blue prio is real in this miniature meta that, that's made. That's why I always love best of fives. You get to see what the meta is like between the specific games. Uh, Conduit though, going red or going blue is banning uh, Corky, Ziggs, and Senna, so. They're actually leaving the Maokai up, which they banned the last two games, and makes me... Yeah, they're exactly what I was going to say. Dorado's going to be forced to ban that Maokai, because they were just going to first pick it. Three jungle bans uh, for the side of Rel, which is... Listen, all I'm saying is conduit, conduit junglers always get multiple bans. <laughs> that is true. That uh, has been the case. So what's Phoenix on the first pick here? No way. I, I'm confused. I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, me neither. We got the uh, the first pick Seraphine meta in this series, I guess. Ivern Jinx. Oh my goodness. Cooper on his signature Ivern. And I think Jinx is just really good. Yeah, and Ivern. Uh, Coop was a, a really strong Ivern player before they made Ivern like giga good like way better <laughs> yeah like insanely better so I'll be interested to see Aphelios locked in so the Seraphine is either support or mid stop Seraphine let's see it let's see it well this final pick should be jungle though right you unless think, unless you, you have so? some like crazy like bio thing you want. Rek'Sai, wow. I Nasian Re is one of the only people I've seen play Rek'Sai in comp games and like be successful at it. But that leaves Syndra open again. Yeah. Syndra uh Zerato liked the, the way that went last game and and uh who blames them? They they did really well in that champion. And we got Zareth being banned here uh, for the first ban potential. Still being hovered, I just realized. Yeah, so Zareth will be the ban locked in by Dorado. So far, <clears throat> I would rather be the Ivern than the Rek'Sai if I was a jungler, if I had to pick what team I was on. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I think one's way better than the other. 
I just think theirs is easier to play. You got like the hardest yeah. ADC versus like the easiest ADC. Yeah. Uh, and then you got right. Ivern. Yeah, Ivern is much more of a. Um, you can make plays happen, but you can also be very uh, counter engage as well. So it definitely makes sense. Emilio getting taken away. Uh, not letting that Jinx get the extra range. I wonder if we'll see the Braum ban as well. Um, as Braum can really make life hard for a Rek'Sai. Yeah, and, and the brand. Band yeah, the brand and the Blitz will be the last two bands here, plus that Milio. And the Braum is left up into the Seraphine. I feel like Conduit's falling into the trap that Dorado fell into game one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, definitely one of the better picks into it. Uh, it just, it's really good into Seraphine overall, right? Like, that's just the. Is what it is. So, see what. Dobbs decides to pick up into the Syndra. Yeah, and it will be. Ooh, that could still also go bot or mid. So they have like a really nice little flex going on here. Yeah, it definitely could. And then what's going to pull this comp together? Um, honestly, don't know. I don't know what would be best case scenario here. Maybe Cannon, but Cannon Blind's really kind of spooky. Maybe an Olaf. Um, Olaf's really solid with the comp they have. But they're just going to lock Orn. Orn, Seraphine, and Abram. Yeah. Can't block them both. Unless, I guess, if they cast them both at the same time. But even then, I don't know if you can get stop them both. I don't know either. I'm hoping for a team on last pick. Team of last pick, anyone? Not team of last pick. Not the Cassante again. Yeah, yeah. Cassante, look, I love the champ. I, I don't. Am, I don't. Over, I'm, I'm overseeing it. I don't love the champ. It's just too popular right now. You're seeing it at Worlds of Time. The champ is only fun to, like, fun to watch, in my opinion. When like the absolute best players play it and they get those crazy pop offs, but like you don't get to see like the world class pop offs, like even in diamond, like you have to get like pros or like challenger. I, I don't really or someone has to just get giga fed like a solo queue thing. I feel like I've I've, I've casted Cassante so many times and like he pops off a little bit, but it's never like those cool like I go in, I kill someone, I alter to the other side of the wall, kill a guy, jump back into the fight, and just like one v nine. Those are so fun. But other than that, it's just, uh, it's just really very, annoying. Yeah, very uh, very boring or very common lanes, right? Not not much action in the Cassante lanes. Which little bit annoying but it is what it is you can't uh you can't really get everything you want so we're gonna go to a quick break though while we get into game number three here uh the winner of this takes it to match point so don't go anywhere this is a could be a big game for the momentum of things conduit trying to get back into it after that unfortunate game two hopefully it doesn't really hurt the mental too much considering not much you could have done uh and uh Maybe, hopefully, also the egos aren't too big over on the side of Dorado because you did just kind of win a 4v5. So we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Hello, everyone, and welcome to game number three here of this best of five. We are tied one to one. To Conduit uh, taking a decisive game one and then having a really unfortunate game two with a bit of a jungle DC. So coming into game three, uh, it's who knows what could happen here. Uh, but I'm Black Eyed Peas. Genetics will be here shortly. Uh, does have to uh, go take care of uh, personal matter, I believe, letting his dogs out. Um, but I like this uh, bot attempted invade here uh, by Dorado, but Panda able to walk away, dodge uh, Cooper's snare, and nothing ends up happening. Ends up being all good there. Ow. And um, we do have uh, the mid lane Lux. So Dob is on Lux. Seraphine is on the bot lane. Uh, so that is that is good to see as well. And um, just going to have to wait and see how, how this goes off. Looks like we're just uh, having uh, jungler starting bot lane for Conduit. And then 
I, I mean, Cooper's going to start topside, but I don't know exactly how he's going to clear, if he's going to insta-smite red or if he's going to leave it for the comeback. People kind of clear a little bit differently. He will insta-smite red. So he plans on staying on the bot side a little bit longer based on that start. Um, but looking at everything else, looking at runes, looking at uh, summoner spells and items and everything, uh, we got the Guardian on... Uh, on Braum, which is probably pretty good. Aerie on Seraphine, Fleet Footwork on Aphelios. Both of those seem pretty normal, and uh, the Double Grasp in the top lane. So yeah, everything seems about what I'd expect. I like Comet on Lux. I think it's it's pretty pretty usual. Um, I tried Dark Harvest Lux uh, in support the other day, and it was pretty fun. But I think the Comet's better in lane. Dark Harvest support means you plan on like getting ahead. Uh, but Rek'Sai doing a weird clear here. Went red into wool or into chickens and then down to Krug. So unless he's playing on backing or ganking bot early, this is a really, really weird clear. Oh no, he's about to just run right into Cooper here. Meanwhile, we got a fight in the top lane, and Stubby's actually winning this fight pretty handedly. And Nasion gonna get caught here. The Brom Stun's gonna land true, doesn't even bother wasting any summoners. They get a bit of damage on the kills, but Jinx is excited here, and Dark has to flash away. But Stubby might get the solo bullet here in the top lane. Does he have the dash? He does not. He's not able to get the knockup off of his Q there. Uh, but. Uh, you gotta love to see that happen in the top side, but man, that's just so unfortunate that he Nation taking the weird jungle path lane. I don't know, assumed that he was gonna be invaded top. I don't know what happened there, but it ended up not working out probably as well as he had hoped. And Nation uh still hasn't even checked his top side yet, so hopefully does go to clear that and doesn't uh try to invade a little too hard. I'm going to be seen in the mid lane by Dobbs, though, so everyone can call out. We see them there. Nation finally going to get a fourth camp. Well, I guess a fifth camp, because he got the uh, he got the Scuttle Crab. Nice scatter the week out of Induced on the Dobbs there, um, but I do like Dobbs having this uh, range that Lux has. Hopefully, he'll be able to get some nice poke uh, throughout Dark landing, speaking of nice poke, dark landing a little Q there, uh, getting a nice little bit of poke with the, the airy onto the Jinx. Jinx at half HP and does not have a potion. Uh, Trash Panda full health, still has potion. Purple Gun online though, uh, could go for a root here if uh, the chances arise. And our level 4 does have the level lead down here as well. So even though that kill went over earlier, uh, bottling for Conduit's doing pretty good CS-wise, up 12. And they're going to be taking that early back here. They're actually going to get to back before the Jinx that got the kill. Pink Ward, uh, Control Ward placed over there right outside of the opposite of the red buff bush. And Cooper's coming in for the mid uh, gank here onto Dobbs. Dobbs won't dodge, gets hit by the root, then gets hit by the scatter of the weak uh, under half HP at this point. So looking uh, looking a little, a little rough there in the mid lane. I will have to back off and we'll lose some CS for that. Somehow, uh, Fenbach is getting the hardcore push into the tower now, uh, which is, is fine. Subby is still up in CS and happy to be here. Nation, oh, actually decides to use the Oracle lens there and finds that. That's pretty, pretty big. Nation goes in, or Stubby goes in and gets the knockup and then uses the, uh, Bellow's Breath to get some extra brittle damage on there, but is going to have to recall and teleport right back to the lane. Actually chooses not to and wants to catch this wave before uh, ends up backing and losing it all. Nation's here, but so is Cooper. So this is a potentially uh, 3v3, but Nation is just going to complete the back. 
And Seraphine is about to walk right into an Ivern. That's so tragic. Panda, though, wants to fight this, it seems. Was able to get the double root down, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Kills gets really low, but the Brom stun dodges the Q, flashes back forward to try to get a kill, and that baits out the cleanse uh, from kills, though. So Panda is uh, commanding this lane here in a 1v3. Uh, playing really well, even though when he's outnumbered, pulling the Syndra all the way down. Uh, but really, uh, really well played by, by Panda there, but now Panda has to get out. Panda is in a four-man position, does dodge the Scatter of the Weak, gets the root down onto the Jinx, but it's not going to be enough. Syndra outplay button, gets the kill, and Panda plays a little bit too aggressively there. Pulls down the entire enemy team. Meanwhile, while this is happening, Nation is uh, completely invading and taking away all the camps up in the top side from Cooper. So that is also good to know. Uh, and they're not even starting the Hextech Drake. So they're just going to walk away from that one and be on their merry way. And uh, yeah, Nation's going to go ahead and get the entire top side. It will be... Cooper might go and find him on the Krugs, so we'll have to be careful. But Nation has that nice control war deep into the enemy territory. Cooper's just going to turn around and go to the bot side of the map. Uh, so just like that, Nation has a pretty good lead here. Uh, Stubby goes in and starts fighting, and Nation just kind of doesn't care. I'm <laughs> just going to walk back into his jungle. Stubby just getting a little bit of poke, maybe propping Grasp while he's up there. So we'll have to see. Brom pinging that he wants to start the Hextech Dragon. Uh, although, look at that, Dom's actually lands the snare and gets the ult because the snare CC hits after Scatter the Weak hits, so he's uncc'd before, but man, Dark is gonna, okay, nice flash, they get the nice root onto Anderson Cooper as well here, and uh, again in the 2v3, they just are not scared, at least Panda's not, and just takes the fight head on every time. And uh, genetics is back, so welcome back. Thank you. Thanks. Sorry about that. And letting the letting the children out, the the dogs for three dogs so that let them out. So probably got a little heck. Yeah, it's all good so far. Uh, what you've missed is the bot lane has been playing really uh like aggressively and. Uh, Cooper has been giga ganking the bot lane. All three kills have happened bot lane. Yep. And, uh, seems like that's the pattern. It's either gank, gank mid or gank, uh, bot. I don't think I've ever seen a gank top. <laughs> Unless it's a response to this series, at least. Maybe that's why they put him up to something. I don't think 2v1 either. Yeah. Um,. <clears throat> I will say uh, the, the CS lead in the bot lane, though, has been impressive with how much attention has been given by Dorado down here. There was a one point where Dark got killed and Panda's 1v3 aggressively fighting, just did not care. Ended up overstaying to the point where Syndra had to come down to get the kill. Um, but he was successfully winning the 1v3. Uh, that's a failure. Uh, not a lot of people know how to play it. Well, they see a little. And not a lot of people know how to play against it either. Uh, Nation has been invading Cooper a lot. Yeah, it makes sense for Rex side. Um, you know, pressure, pressure the iron early. Take the aggressive trade if you want to get out with your tunnel. Right. I, uh, I agree very much there. Um... But man, look at this. We'll uh, potentially try to ult him to the tower, but like he's going to take a single tower shot. But Stubby has to be careful. Does get the Bellows Breath. He's winning the trade against this Cassante. Flashes to Q3. Man, Scatter of the Week just keeps landing true. The Lux Root, not going to be enough. We'll actually get the, the, the bomb, though, to, to land. And uh, gets the Comet to strike as well. Uh, I do I do want to point out though, Mythic completed in the mid lane. Uh, first Mythic of the game. 
uh, against Dobbs, who does not have Mythic yet, just on the Lost Chapter and the Blasting Wand, so it is uh, going to be a little bit rough for Dobbs here until he can back and get, I believe, Luden's Echo is what he's going to go for, or whatever it's called now. Oh, this could be the kill to the Cassante, and it is fantastic 1v1, top lane, another 1v1 out of Stubby. Seems as though we've lost genetics again. Um, Stubby is, man, getting multiple plates out of this too. That uh, um, that proc on the turret from the rune, he might be able to get a third plate before he walks away. Will uses his dash to jump away, throws up the little uh, the little block there, and uh, just like that is is making his way downtown. Uh, unfortunately, though, Syndra is ganking bot lane, although. They might just kill Cooper before the fight even starts, and they will, so now it's a 3v3. Scatter the weak hits too. They get the flash and the cleanse out of here. Oh, and the ultimate almost lands on the kills, but kills has to flash away as well. Najin is trying to run in. Oh, they get the root on the Sunrise, and Lux is teleporting down here in kind of a weird way. The outplay button is lands, and Induce ends up getting the trade kill on the Najin here, but it's still a 3v3 down here, and Jinx is going to land the zap from over the wall, but now Trash Panda has the purple gun with the root. The Lux alt lands on the kills, and every there everyone's so low, he flashes and just gets insta-rooted, and they just can't finish off a kill. Trash Panda will, get the fin uh, will finish off the kill, and Deuce will flash over the wall, throwing the orb. Scatter the weak lands onto Dobbs, and Dobbs is going to die as well, and it ends up going horribly wrong for Conduit after looking so close. Dorado playing that so well. Conduit making a couple mistakes. I think Lux didn't have to TP. If Lux just roamed down instead of teleporting, I think she would have got there in the same time and potentially the better angle. Um, so a little, a little bit of an unfortunate teleport there. But we do have a, we do have a map resetting that did happen crucially before the Drake. So Conduit lucking out there that that fight ends up happening before the Drake and goes the way that it does. Um, stubby top lane is still just demanding uh, Fenbok to have to walk in and try to fight him if he wants to do anything. A really nice knockup into the wall. Q3 lands, but it does not matter. Bella's Breath lands on the Fenbok. The, the proc is there and has to run away before the Brittle gets proc'd. Nation will uh, tunnel over and land the Q. Stubby could look for a dive, but Cassante is not one you want to dive, especially with All Out up and ready. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I agree. Uh, not not a champion you want to overcommit against. Uh, in this top side, so it looks like Stubby will start making his way down towards the bot lane now. Oh, the Scout of the Week is... Ooh. There's so much damage. The Super wow. Mega Death Rocket... The Syndra outplay button and the Scatter of the Week is enough to just melt Conduit off the face of the earth. Yeah, that was just... Nation, plus, uh... I don't think this is worth a steal attempt. Second drag. Alright, you know what? He gets it and flashes over the wall. <laughs> yeah, he gets it. Cheeky steal. Uh, it stops the stacking on the Cinder Jinx top, so... Hope to play for, but man, the Cinder being 402 and this Jinx being 304. Uh, big problems. Yeah, it will be a Chemtech map. So ignore the symbol in the top left. It's just a classic Riot Games. Ah oh, man, Conduit are so close in these fights. Every time they like lose the fight, the uh, Dorado is just like. 20% health or less on everyone that lives, sometimes 5%. But they just can't seem to get any finishes. I have a friend. My friend Roger is a classic. Uh, the guy continues to live with 5% HP. So we continually uh, fight him. Then eventually, that 5% is 50% HP and you're 1 and 9. So, Honda would have to make sure they start. Uh, converting some of these low HP targets. Oh, this is such a good play oh. out of Stubby. Gets the flash out of Cassante. That 
was uh, that was looking spooky for the sound thing. Ooh. Yeah, Lux going for the, the, the cheeky little alt steal. It's so hard to steal Rift Heralds with abilities because they're so tanky. <laughs> Stubby's like, I don't care. This makes sense, though. They want to try to get that tower first, and they will. Oh, they just need to hit mid turn. Oh, they didn't just hit mid turn. Yeah, but look at this. Syndra is about to get collapsed. We have Stubby teleporting bot. Induce lands the scatter of the week, but I don't think it's gonna matter. He's just gonna flash to scare the scare the Naga. Dobbs is going to land the uh, loose and singularity from across the map, and will end up getting the shutdown too. 450 gold, two and a half kills worth of gold there. It's interesting that Induce decided to save flash there, not even try to flash, knowing that the the alt from <clears throat> the ore was down, maybe. Uh, that wasn't called though. Yeah, it could have not been platform. communicated. But yeah, that's a uh, it's a little peculiar because I think <laughs> if he flashes, he gets out. Nation uh, soloing the tower without minions. Oh no, oh. the all field goal is good. Plus three flashes in a straight line, gets hit by the super mega death rocket. Not so dark screen is looking kind of dark. Yeah. yeah. Who needs to play Braum if you just gonna miss it, <laughs> miss it through the uprights anyways? Right. Right, right, right. Uh, I still want to commend uh, the the CS in this bot lane though. Jinx being up 404 and, and Crash Pan is still winning. It's uh, pretty good. Yeah, definitely not bad. Yeah. Oh. For much more. Wait, wait, Jinx. Jinx might be in a predicament. Trash Panda might be in a predicament. Braum misses the ultimate. Nation's gonna be able to get out of there. Not so dark is gonna come in and they're gonna land the roots, but Braum's taking negative damage. Conduit is healing Braum right now. Yeah, so it looks like everyone kind of fights. They get the TP out of induced down that mid lane. Uh, Lux also took mid so uh, tp for tp but kasante stays bot gets the pressure on the lane oh, oh man and this is... oh. yes shutdown does go to seraphine oh they're gonna keep oh. the dive up just hit the turret <laughs> yeah there you yeah. go nice wow. good play from condo at 45 seconds till the next dragon so the seraphine all will be up it looks like the brahmar will be as well I'm not sure if Ivern's will be or not. Ivern's probably Ooh, will be up. Alone. Ivern's will probably be up like right after Drake, like within 10, 15 seconds. And Ornalt will not be up. Ornalt's definitely not up. So maybe this is the one that Conduit says, you know, let's give. We got, we got a lot that last play. It's not worth uh, giving the gold we just acquired right back. But we'll see how they decide to play. The Gravitum version of the alt being pinged. A nice little snipe landed there as well. That's a big shield. It was a, like, an un... Why was that such a big shield? Oh, it's Iron. Yeah, Iron Shield, right, right. Wow. Now Yeah, so we're gonna be running into Fenbach down here as well. And, uh... The dragon is burning down the forest with all of those uh, bushes that are there. And Asian wanted to do another cheeky steal. His uh, flash is back up, but they're just going to trade dragon for Cassante. And with it being Chemtech dragon, Cassante getting a shutdown, or I mean, uh, Feather's getting the shutdown on Cassante for a single uh, Chemtech Drake. I'd say Conduit. Worth. They didn't have to use anything. Sante just kind of gave the kill, trying to stop oh, Nation. Ended, Nation was—he was trying to stop Nation from oh. going into the pit. This is the all. Yeah. On Phalios there, which potentially could have been huge. Yeah, with it being the purple alt, rooting everyone in place, would have been giant. That is such a crazy bippity bop. Yeah. 
Where on that demolish? tower. Demolish rocks. Kano, I think may find the first gold lead of the game. Yeah, that's crazy. Down three kills. Down a dragon. <clears throat> and uh, only up a turret. So, yeah, the gold lead is it's dead even at the moment. Pretty impressive uh, for how this game's been going. And uh, he's going to go ahead and take the red buff, pass it over to Jinx as well. Looking for the Scuttle Crab. Scuttle Crab uh, will definitely extend the gold lead by about 100 now once that is secured. So, yeah, uh, Dorado holding a steady slight gold lead probably will continue to be up by about 100, 200, depending on how f uh, the farming continues to go. Um, but I mean, look at the look at the farm difference in the jungle. Uh, is pretty significant there. But same things happening in the top lane and the mid, uh, bot lane, literally dead even. So mid lane, literally dead even. So these uh, the mid and bot carries are doing pretty good. Not so dark might have just gotten killed. Flashes that is an insane amount of damage. The super mega death rocket gets tanked by Nation. That is so close. Yeah, that was extremely close. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, Dobbs just ulting for effect. Yeah, it looks like he just wanted to clear the wave out and just kind of poke because of how low the the cooldown is on that ability and half health jinx. Yeah, all for damage. And Stubby, I think, made the right decision here. Giving Lux the upgrade first. Oh, uh, absolutely. Such a, a good decision. Well, I mean, who else are you going to give it to? Felios doesn't even have a mythic. Oh, you give it to the Rex, huh? Oh. This is uh, not going to get a kill, though. So, just, they don't oh. don't have damage without Lux. Very surprised that Nation didn't try to go over the wall. I, good that he didn't. Yeah. The whole team was there, ready to back him up. Yeah, there's a lot of patience. It takes a lot of patience to not not do that because I would have done it and probably had to flash him out immediately as soon as I saw everyone come and try to kill me. <laughs> Seraphine floating above her bed there. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> it kill, kills is like, please stop shooting those down mid lane on me. Dobbs wasn't even trying to hit him. I don't even like. No, no, just trying to clear the wave. Just all, keep all in the wave for. You know, getting it pushed out. That's that's so funny. Very amusing. I very much like that. The alt's up again. No way. No kills. Don't do it. I'm watching oh the health bar. Dobbs did shoot alt again. Yeah. But it didn't hit the. Chain. I was gonna say I was watching the health bar. Wait, what is the cooldown? Oh. Mm. 27 you know what? seconds. What? Every 27 seconds you get to do 800 damage. <laughs> we had a bit of a fight going on here in the bot lane, but Fenbox gonna miss and Savage gonna jump away. Lux Alt back up. Yeah. Lux Alt down again. <laughs> it's uh, very amusing to watch it. Just... Yeah, we got a meatball fight away. happening down here. Go down and up. Uh -oh. oh man, oh. Fenbach walking a little bit too far, but is Cassante, so wasn't worried at all. Yeah, interesting that they're deciding to play the bot side of the map from Conduit when they have Dobbs kind of able to turbo clear mid lane. Induced is looking for a pick. Oh! The that first, that's the like the first. The yeah. that misses. Oh, he's gonna ult something over the wall. Wait, he ults into the hole, into the hole of conduit. Fenbach is just going to die. Yeah. The Luxol doesn't actually hit anyone though. Trash Panda jumps in. Well, he he was getting scattered, er, getting ulted by the Syndra. Has to make the decision to try to trade back damage as much as possible. Does actually end up yeah. Syndra to bring Zanya's and. Sunrise just getting Oh, Stubby down gets denied up on the Jinx from over the wall. Big it's a four for like one. Stubby. I would go to Baron. Stubby's my guy. I just need to say. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's for me, Stubby is uh, definitely a goat. But like, Stubby and I have both been condo members for a while, and I think I've talked to him twice. <laughs> yeah, that's why Stubby's my goat, not your goat. Yeah, well, Dobbs is Dobbs is mine then. A lot of late night conversations between me and this Stubster. I think Stubby's awesome. I, I would love to actually get to play with him. True. But unfortunately, come due year, I'm not going to be around as much. He's perishing. I'm perishing. He's going to hold a in his honor. Uh, it, he's actually going to host it. It's going to be really neat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for coming to my funeral. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank you all for being here. Uh, uh, no. Anyways, Game State uh, is kind of... I don't know if this is the biggest gold lead we've seen. This, I think this is the biggest conduit lead we've seen. This game. This game, yes. This game. Absolutely. Um, looking over the items here. This Orn is has mythic upgrade on Panda and Dobbs now. Do you give it to Seraphine or do you give it to Rek'Sai? You give it to Rek'Sai. Seraphine doesn't need the stats. Give Seraphine the stats. All right. I'm of the opinion that Seraphine doesn't need the stats. I mean, Seraphine like definitely wants the stats. Oh no. Well, there's Bromwall down. Alt, alt kills, come on, do it. Do it for the fun. Yeah. Do it for more, don't more. do it for my it's entertainment. Alt, alt kills. It's very amusing to watch the luck hit Jinx from a mile away. Man, this Ivern shields are like constantly <laughs> up. What's the cooldown? Four seconds! Oh. Okay. Ooh. Good flash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, crazy that that he walked that way, but crazy that Conduit misses everything, and then also crazy he's able to like instant flash. So, yeah. I think if Dobbs is still there, fruit hit. Uh oh, no flash here. Oh, man. oh, that Baron. almost hit Jinx Before over the wall, kill. and that's a that could be a Baron look. Yeah, Kisante is bot lane with teleport facing Stubby. So it's gonna be a 4v3 anywhere because, oh wait, Stubby can't stop an ult now, or a teleport without his ult now. Stubby has to chase him down, you can't just fight this. I mean, even if- Oh, Stubby's just teleporting right behind him. Oh, this is- Oh, the oh. scatter of the week was insane, but it doesn't matter because here comes that with the Luxo oh, over the top and Deuce just people. gets melted. They didn't. Oh, oh Panda flashes forward and gets the root on the Brom. He's literally healing him to the shield. <laughs> yeah. What a cool champ. Now they go back to Baron. Yeah, but Cooper's back up. Stubby just didn't care about that ward. Yeah, that one's not important. I mean, they placed another one somewhere else, so it doesn't matter. Look at this. It's all shoots and ladders. Yeah. Wow, just trying to keep Fenbach out of the pit. Dobbs is coming to help. Oh, so close. Oh, it's kills in the back again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please, oh, man. no. Okay, not enough damage to oh, execute no, the Baron. This is ridiculous. Fenbach flashing forward, I think? Yeah, but just for not. And that's a Baron. One minute before the dragon spawn. <laughs> no fucking hey, way. I'm done. I'm done. If I'm we're at we're at <laughs> It's not even like a combo is hitting him. It just keeps it just keeps hitting him straight on. I don't understand. Yeah, that's that's really what it is. It's just we're standing in the middle of the wave. At least let him choose to shoot it at you. Dude, Dobbs is dying right now in comms, I guarantee it. I'm dying in oh. comms right now. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm literally, yeah. Like, hey, That's kills incredible. Is, hey, kills is dying on the rift. After the third time it happens, you have to, like, have some awareness about literally, it going to hit you. The only thing that hit kills, 
that fight was two Lux Halls. Yeah, two Lux Halls. That's, that's, that's literally all that hit him. Yeah, 80 carries over Toon for sure. Dobbs is level three. What's the alt cooldown? We gotta check. We gotta check. 19 and a half mm. seconds. Oh. <laughs> and he kills again! <laughs> kills, please! Oh my god. If kills doesn't reset right now, Lux could probably just fire another one. <laughs> Holy moly. I can't stop laughing. This is ridiculous. How does that keep happening? I've heard of the splits, but this is ridiculous. That is Scooby Doo reference. Yeah, that yeah, that's I think the most egregious part is that Lux isn't really trying to hit the jinx. It's just happening like that. If that hits if that hits one more time, if I'm Dobbs. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, actually. <laughs> Jinx and minion actually confirmed. Dobbs is aiming at minions. He's hit Jinx a lot. <laughs> I agree with chat. ARAM players. I tell you, it yeah. makes you worse yeah. at the game. Yeah. Although, That's speaking of worse at the game. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, thank God. Do Dobbs lands the, the oh. snare onto them. The flash Ooh. shadow of the weak lands big. The charm is pretty big there too. The root hits, but they gotta try to get out of here. This could be the fight that they need to get back into it. Nation, you gotta not be there. Although, I mean, Dobbs is landing these roots like crazy. Daisy is almost dead here. Oh, the root almost hits again. But they did get Trash Panda. So, down for another 30 seconds. Luckily, no objectives up, so not too too big of a, of a, of a oopsie out of conduit. Meanwhile, they actually oh, got a top what? side. How did this happen? Yeah, I don't know how this happened, but he's going to try to ult someone into the wall and get away, but he actually might be able to. Man, that is a huge shield that he got off of Gargoyle. Does ult away, might actually be able to live. Dobbs ult, they just don't oh move. God. They just keep staying the minion way. Dobbs is getting... The efficiency here is just incredible <laughs> with these levels. <laughs> Lux is getting banned first and second phase. Yeah, that's incredible. And that was induced making like a pretty heroic play, right? You, you flash hit scatter the yeah. weak, allow your team to catch the Aphelios, and we just play greedy off the back of it. Oh, Stubby misses the cannon with his knockup. I'm glad that the camera went top to show us that. This is insane. I I just want to watch Dobbs for the rest of the game. I, no, I want to watch where Dobbs alts go. Yeah. I want to see Dobbs will just go to alt blue buff and accidentally kill the Teemo invisible in the bush that doesn't want to move. Like, that's how this game feels. That's how it feels. I'm going to start hitting things that aren't even there. Right, that is... Seraphine hit killing the scuttle grab. Oh my god, it was so Ooh, close. It was so it. close. Kill's learning. He finally Kill's learning. Look at how big the shield is every four seconds. I gotta say, the fact that Iron's the only one with heal cut though is kind of wild against the Felio Seraphine. And it's done nothing, so he just got it. Yeah, it had to be just, just picked up, thank you. That is... I mean, it is what it is. You can't really fault him. I mean, you can not You can fault him, but like... I've casted enough games where heal cut would be huge, and uh, never see it. Yeah, I think it's, it's not a real easy buy for anyone on the side of the It's so actually. easy for for Jinx. You just buy eight to 800 yeah, gold. Yeah, well, well, Jinx isn't in these fights. That's the first Lux ult to completely miss. The outplay button lands, but it isn't able to finish him off. Induce pops the stopwatch there. Azania's on cooldown, but Ooh. Nation gets pulled into the fight, has to flash away. Yeah. Scatter the weak misses, though, so Nation gets to live. Wait, the root lands. That's such a good root. Here comes the orange horn. Oh my god, the actually really big. Yeah, all oh, the double oh. knockup with the luck, so it's gonna be oh, just kill. enough to finish off Kills. Kills doesn't get to live. Kills doesn't know what his name means. Uh, 
And Conduit gets two for nothing right as Drake's gonna spawn in 20 seconds. This is gonna be their soul. <laughs> oh no. To be fair, Kills was knocked up. Could not have cleansed. <laughs> yeah. They no, say yeah, fuck the soul. Sure. They're going for Baron. Honestly, this is the soul to not get. This is the one you're not that worker. You're not that, uh. It's the lowest win rate, it's the lowest impact on the game. Although I gotta say, a Lux would probably like this soul. The temper the, the increased damage to people that are below 50% health. <laughs> I wonder if that calculates if your your ability puts them below 50% health. Oh no, Induce, what are you doing? Why did you jump over that wall? You just bait it, so Sante's gonna teleport. You know what, Conduit says, never mind, let's get both objectives. Dragon Soul over to Conduit. Baron over to Conduit. Scuttle Crab over to Conduit. And let's see if there's a Lux Salt over to Kills. Here comes the Ornhorn. Ornhorn gets blocked by Brahm Wall. The Lux Salt doesn't actually hit kills, but it does go over top of Cassante. Cassante has infinite dashes zone, is able to get out like nothing happened. The outplay button is still up and it it, gets, it works, it shuts down Trash Panda. They're losing the fight with Baron and Soul. Yeah, and Induced. Dude, credit to Induced, man. Induced oh, playing. Stubby Out gets a huge knockup. Induced! Oh. One HP, but the Lux all this time perfectly. Nation needs to get out of there. Gets an insane shield. Yeah, that, that's a big <laughs> Lux is just taking so much damage in the back line. Or, I mean, not Lux, Jinx. Oh, Jinx has to cleanse Man. it. Almost dies. This fight is insane. We got Fenbach. Yeah. Unstoppable to knock up. Pulls him under the tower. Brom ults for a second time this fight. Lux ults for a ninth time this fight. And I, I, kills Ivern in the back. Gets another knock up on the Cassante. There's so much damage and just no one can kill anyone on Conduit. This is the story of just staying behind your front your front line. That was the craziest. <laughs> just our whole front line's fighting, and Dobbs is just shooting people in the back. That's why we used to have JJH pick up the sniper. All of us grunts would do the, the dirty work in Halo, and he would just pick people off. Same yeah. concept. And give me the so sword. Give Dobbs the sniper. I was playing Fortnite the other day. I got a I got a golden sniper rifle. One shot seven people. Felt beautiful. This series. Can we just talk about this series just being like it feels like the battle of the mid laners right now. Yeah, absolutely. Like the thing is, is if Conduit wins this game and the next game, this is basically a 3-0. Because like there's such an asterisk on that second game. I'm not taking away how well they played, but like you saw how close it was with Nation DC for half of it. Sure. But, sure. I mean, like, if this goes to five games, it's absolutely like... I'm not taking any... Even if they... Even if Conduit does win 3-1, I'm not taking anything away from Toronto. They are playing well, uh, for the most part. Knockup lands on the Fenbot. Unstoppable. Tries to get away. Dashes away again. Panda goes oh, in oh. and is just going to die. Oh my heels! Oh, that Seraphino hits three of them, but they don't have the damage to finish. The Gargoyle Sunblade shield was insane. There's so many shields on Cassante, but Lux all over the top, he has to flash Ooh. it. Okay, someone finally respects and Dobbs is all. All I'm saying is, Panda keeps Gale forcing in onto yeah. tanks. Mm, true. That's true. And it's 40 minutes. Like, anything can happen in this game right now. Honda would be very much on uh, the aggressive foot here, but they could very easily lose this game with a 40 minute fight. They, they hit three people. He hit three people with his ult. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Look at the magic pen. He has Shadow Flame Void Staff. So this is where the game gets interesting. No objectives for two minutes. And the tanks are just getting tankier. Jinx is close to 16. They're just gonna take this engage in. 
It goes over the wall, the Luxol hits the Braum shield, but Braum is low. Stubby's gonna just run into the wall and not actually get anyone knocked up there. So the fight is not uh, not great for Conduit, but I mean, it's not bad for Conduit. They got kills as Flash. Yeah, they get the Jinx Flash, and we're at a point in the game where, again, this Jinx gets one good reset. Very much could spell the end of the game. Right, we're to the, in 90 seconds, Elder, and in, in 80 seconds, uh, or 70 seconds, we got Baron, so I wonder what they're going to do. I wonder what the priority is going to be between these two teams. We got a level 18 Cassante, level 18, so we got three level 18s on Conduit, and only one level 18 on uh, Dorado. minute Aaron is 40 seconds you think a flip will happen oh, I don't know but oh they get the root on Cassante Cassante goes unstoppable this is pretty big but they just don't do any damage Cassante is legitimately Gargo stone plate he's just stacking vests he's he has one fist and three shirts and some boots. <laughs> that is crazy. 339 CS on a tank. Oh man, oh man. One good Seraphine alt from out of vision. Look, they got minions on the inhibitor. Conduit yep. just doesn't, Conduit is happy to stall out here. Oh, they don't stop Cassante. Cassante does have teleport. Elder is now up as well as Baron. This is the flank behind. He gets the knock up. Oh, the Seraphine on everything. Kills just dies. He cleanses, but he can't get out. The flank from A from Asian is oh. insane. This is a dead Ivern as well. Yeah. Condor playing this so well. The outplay button isn't enough to kill the support. The flash knock up with the Lux all over top. It's three for nothing. They don't even need objectives. They got minute long death timers. And that's a teleport out of Stubby onto the minion to prevent it from dying. And Stubby has like, what is that, 26,000 health? <laughs> it feels like that. <laughs> you, realistically, both Gasante and uh, Stubby can kill <laughs> <safety. laughs> No, okay. All right. No, no, no. He flashed into the. <laughs> you can't make it up, Gamer. Well, Conduit takes the lead 2 1, taking us to match point. Yeah. Yeah, that was something. So, game three, we're, we're swinging. The pendulum's swinging. Lux? In Dobbs mid. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, let's be honest, at least 12k of that's just hitting Jinx in the <laughs> ways. I'm I'm taking 12k off the top. Stubby did the most damage this game for Conduit. That's my opinion. <laughs> I'm sticking with it. Jinx But no, is it Jinx was dealt more damage than she than she dealt. Yeah. Yeah. Again. At least 12k. Dobbs least only took. Dobbs literally was only 8,600 health. Yeah, it's impossible to kill a champion <laughs> like that if he's not taking damage at all. <laughs> oh my god. And I guess after you show the the Iron Jinx and Syndra, there's not much that's gonna threaten you. Yeah, it is. It is looking spooky going here into. Game number four, Conduit with the lead going two to one in this best of five to make it to the finals. Remember, winner goes to the BOL Gold Finals here. Uh, but with that, we are going to go to a quick break while we wait to get into the champion select of the next match. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Hello, everyone, and welcome to game or the draft for game number four here getting underway between Dorado Gaming Row and Conduit Phoenix. Uh, thank you so much to Blue Otter League for the raid and coming over to this series that did start a little bit late and had a bit of a 15-minute pause. So 
we still got a at least one more game potentially two more to go here but i am black eyed peas joined here by genetics so far this has been a crazy series conduit with the decisive game one uh <laughs> nation's internet with the decisive game two and uh game three just on a knife's edge until dobbs became un out of control genetics I will how are you feeling for this game I feel excited. Uh, I will say we're still seeing the draft from last game. So although draft hasn't started for this game, what the heck? It's like a visual visual bug with OBS. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm feeling good. Thank feeling you for good. saying something because it's the right link. Let me reset. Yeah. Hey, it's we're probably in. Just, uh, probably just yeah. Swap scenes. And draft literally um, just started. We got a Zach yeah. band coming out. Perfect. Perfect timing. Um, but what I was saying, uh, conduit on. You know, one game away from making back-to-back -back grand finals, of course, during the spring split, we were crowned as BOL's gold champion. That was Conduit's first chip. Be nice to go back and try to try to defend it um, with one of the teams. Yeah, and looking at these bands, uh, Maokai has been in our red side third band all three games, even though Conduit has been uh, only red one game. And Seraphine has also been first picked all four games. We're back. We're back. Seraphine, uh, four straight games of blue one. So both of these teams seeming to have a heavy priority for it. Yeah, I don't know what it, I mean, it's right now it's what? It's two and one <laughs> because, I mean, that's the series. It's been in all four games. So although this Wukong performed very well game one and looked like it was going to perform well game two, uh, but we were just too far behind. Uh, for after the internet disconnect, so I, I'm happy to see Nation back on Wukong for the third time here, kind of show that uh, he is he is good at this champion, and uh, we knew that he was good at this champion. But will we see the Ezreal? Will this literally be game one, game two, game three, the same first three picks? No, the Ash. That is. Oh, and it's actually Ooh. Sivir. Okay, so will they play Sivir correctly? Genetics. I'll let you talk about that. So, the the most important thing about this lane. Is managing your wave until you're like level nine and you have multiple points in your W to actually shove it properly. That way you can start shoving it very quickly, keep Seraphine off the wave, and then you can start hitting towers. That's like the goal for for Sivir in this lane. I actually played this in a game four against uh, a lot, some of the members of Conduit Phoenix and. Uh, I played the same matchup, so it's very possible. But yes, you just have to you have to be smart with your ways on Sivir. It's the one of the, the most important things that Sivir has. Um so it'll be interesting to see how it plays Tarek. So the Syndra Prio was dropped, it was Zinzao Nautilus, the first where game two it was Seraphine Zinzao Syndra. Uh but after the last game, Syndra was dropped. Uh they didn't want to just get Lux picked right into it yet again. And now the uh, Conduit will take that Cinder away. But Xin Zhao did go crazy game two when Dorado did win uh, on the blue side. I will say the Tarek, like you said, one of those champions that are just absolutely uh, either insanely good or absolutely useless. So, well, never useless, but like it's the alt. If you can bait the alt out, you basically have a significantly easier fight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And there's the Lux, so like the respect ban out of the mid laners. Like you said, it's basically been a battle of the mid lane, uh, this uh, kind of this game, and Syndra Lux both taken out, but they are going to respect Stubby's Orn. They or Stubby will not get Orn here, so oh, they might just blind the Corky mid. They're going to save Stubby's top pick for last, and I've seen Dobbs play Corky. Yeah, big Corky gamer. Um, we'll see if it's four straight Cassante games. It it's definitely possible, uh, given the current like landscape of things. I'm more interested to see what Induced is going to match against Dobbs' Corky in this mid lane. Twist Fate. I hope it's not Gnar. Yeah, I hope it's not Gnar as well, but Gnar top lane is uh, a pretty pretty safe blind. <clears throat> has the ability to like you know jump away and get some some ranged poke and then turn into a tank during the team fights in the late game uh very excited to see what stubby will pick into that but we still got about 10 seconds left for dorado to lock in a tot or a mid laner to match this corky unless it's seraphine that's 
see up here. Could also be bot lane. So like they got like it's more than likely mid, but I have seen the cast bot. Yeah, now now it's kinda all up to what? Mordekaiser is open again. I don't know if it's a great game for Mordekaiser. Ooh. No real tank you can take away. Cho'Gath is ballsy. Yeah. I think Cho'Gath is just really good. Uh, just the amount of healing he gets off the spikes can withstand Nar poke, uh, and just eventually become an insane second smite. Essentially, once you get into the late game, uh, I'm a big fan of the Cho'Gath. Uh, Cassio will be able to melt Cho'Gath pretty easily, but like Nar and, and Zin will not have the easiest time killing him. Everyone says they're such a big fan of the Cho'Gath until I play it 50 games bot lane and I think I'm the new meta breaker. Yeah, and then you actually, the actual term, int, when you played it. I was just, we didn't understand the lane. Sure, fair. Um, But like, <laughs> I think Conduit's draft is just way better. I uh not I not way better, but I think it's I think it has the edge. Yeah, it's I think it's really going to come down to like Terra Cult and Wukong Alt, uh, because I think in just a a straight fight, Ro should win. Um, just a, I guess my opinion. Um, but this was very much similar to like Game One, where it's just going to come down to like execution. Because I do think Phoenix is outside of the Terra Cult is easier to uh, execute. Yeah. The champions are easier to play around, but Rose has a higher a higher skill ceiling. So if you say higher all, skill ceiling, but we got Sivir. You know, Sivir you think is easy until you remember how many mechanics Sivir has. Just playing with your wave. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. No other mechanics. Right, I... Well, on that terrible joke, we're going to go ahead and get to uh, what could potentially be our last uh, final break of the night as Conduit looks to close out the series 3-1 and make it to the finals and Dorado backs against the wall. Have to uh, win this game to take us to Silver Scrapes. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Hello, everyone, and welcome to game number four between Conduit Esports, Phoenix, and Dorado Gaming Row. I'm Black Eyed Peas, joined here by Genetics as we get into what could be the final game of the night. Uh, thank you to everyone who's been staying up with us. I know this is pretty late for a best of five, and we could have another game to go after this. Uh, but uh, kind of a crazy series so far. Genetics, how you feeling looking at runes and everything? Uh, I am feeling good. I like the actual uh, hubby that he went comment. You know, a lot of top lane show guests just kind of blindly take um grasp regardless of the lane matchup but super excited to see him take that common ability uh fleet on corky makes sense you're not gonna proc the first strike very often against this uh cast and what do you think of the glacial on nautilus glacial v glacial i i think nautilus probably should have taken aftershock as it's Probably, like, I guess the primary tank. I know Coop, or, uh, Coop on the Zenzel is going to be, like, a, a bruiser tank, or, you know, a healer, a healing tank, if you will. But, uh, I think the Aftershock would have done Nautilus well this game. No, I agree. I think Terry taking that is fine, because you're just going to be healing a bunch, and you got Wukong to be able to engage, uh, usually for you, or the package as well going in, so... Uh, which is one thing I want to try to keep an eye out throughout this game are package timings and usages out of Dobbs here. Uh, I feel like a lot of games with Corkies do end up being how well their packages are. Both lanes getting level 2 basically the same exact time. Uh, Nautilus timing that dredge line nicely to get to the wall with the pause. And there we already seen that Comet do some work there with the, the knock up. Yeah, well, well done by Stubby throwing that silence out and then hitting... The, the knock up after it. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> just Gentleman Shogath, an absolute classic skin. Just scream quiet at your opponent. 
Oh, the dredge line, like, lands really nicely on the panda. Ignites brought down, but they have so much healing. This could be like a reverse. Oh, but the gank top lane. He does get the flash for the, the third proc for the knockup, and that's a first blood going to Cooper in the top side. We were talking about how you don't think Cooper ever ganks top, but man, that was a three camp skipping blue buff top gank. What's in the script? Oh. Kills dies. Oh, kills flashes. Oh, oh the oh dredge line was so close. This could be a double kill. No way. If Dark tanks this tower correctly, this could be another kill, but it doesn't look like they want to do it. Yeah, that's. The, the, well, Seraphine has TP. Yeah, correct. So, it's a, it's, I'm, so I'm sure one of them called that. Um, which, the right play, don't, don't don't be too crazy, but say we're getting a kill early. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Uh, Jungle has one kill up on Dorado, but the, the lead in the actual farm is over on the side of the Wukong. But the mid CS gap is pretty large already for uh the for induced here but induced doesn't have teleport we'll have to walk back to lane and uh dobbs gets a, a free period to just kind of hit this slowly if he wants to in the mid lane uh, the, this farm will will uh even itself out um oh. nice little silence there to prevent fenbach from like jumping on top of stubby yeah, and getting a, a that's, stun that's what i thought was about to happen jumping Side. He will just jump forward. It actually has the level lead now as well here on the top side. But uh Dobbs on the Corgi, just shaking his tail, trying to dodge evil back there, or backstop out of Fenbach. And uh man, we might have the clash of the junglers here in this tri bush, depending on how long Coop's willing to wait in that try. Oh, that is so much damage. And such obnoxious poke. And if Cooper backs here completely, Wukong could just walk over and show up into the fight. And uh, Fenwalk looks like he had to jump to dodge out of that. And now Nation sees that Cooper is there. And he gets knocked up again. It's so low. Nation's not spotted yet and could look for some, some uh, you know, crazy, crazy play here into the bush. Oh, will, he, will he be able to get to him? He backs in time. Okay, so went to the mid bush instead of the close bush and didn't end up finding him. So a little bit of wasted time out of Nation, but uh, all is fair in love and war. He'll just continue to roam down to his uh, raptor camp over there and uh, continue to be about a camp ahead of Cooper. I'm still down about 10 farm in the mid lane, getting chased down. Oh, level 6 on Induced, level 5 on Corky. Induced, uh, Pops Ghost, and uh, Dobbs had to flash. Valkyrie must have been down. Yeah, we just saw Dobbs use Valkyrie a little bit earlier in that kind of trade, so Induced knowing his window was there, so he hit the Q, you know, press the go button. Yeah, absolutely. Getting a house thrown at you has always got to be rough. I like this gank here by Nation. Seeing that uh, Meganar just dropped. He has that the control ward in that bush. Oh, you have to uh, E, but man, Nation only being level 4 doesn't have the alt to stop it and somehow actually behind in levels to Cooper now. But we'll get a, get a nice little scuttle crab dinner here in the top lane. Uh, but they're going to be trading that for a uh, early Drake, and it looks like it is uh, Chemtech, so I guess it's not the worst to give over. Yeah, see yeah. a small lead coming out for, uh, for Dorado here um, in this early game. Get that can. Cho'Gath looks so small because I recently played a game no, against the Cho'Gath. No, I know why. I'm saying like I recently had played against the Cho'Gath that had like 19 feast stacks and was the size of the mm. tower, so. Yeah. See if he's going to be able to land this. Does get the 69 gold. And just keeps getting this nice poke, but is completely out of mana and still uh, only sitting on an amp tome. With Can that you ring. Is Subby maxing? 
This might actually rupture. He's got four points in the rupture. Only one on the scream and one on the spikes. Um, I'm wondering what the item's gonna be, if it's gonna be a Rolla Shoga or... Ooh, nice little uh, stun here onto him uh, as they end up uh, just walking away, but... <laughs> six level six to level four there between the okay Nihilus finally hits five uh, and then Sivir hits six now as well, so uh, Both uh, carries are level six both supports level five uh, And uh, Najin really needs to get something done here on this map. I mean granted there's only one kill on the other side as well um, But uh Hold it like nation's got level six and so like this is this is his time to shine i feel wukong's one of those champions that unless you're fighting in the river your ganks really don't do much pre-six unless like you're ganking a lane that has like 19 cc abilities noon noon quiver and uh whatever that other the bow items called there Recurve. Yeah, recurve bow already for Sivir here. Lost chapter and fiendish codex out for Seraphine. Lost chapter in the top lane as well. Nice poke damage. Is gonna keep chasing him down because it jumps down. Will get another rupture. Forces Fenbach to flash. Finally finds the pink ward that's been in that bush since the earlier. Oh, oh no! Cancels him up out of the knockup. Gets the silence. Flashes feast is almost up. We'll get the last rupture. That's a solo bolo kill going over to uh, Stubby. Yeah, that should be. realistically that should probably never happen. Um, Nard just played that very poorly. Uh, well played by Stubby hitting. I think every rupture would have hit the rupture that was flashed as well. So, um, yeah, well played. Stubby's doing really well. Keeping the CS equal. Yeah, it's and, uh, quite impressive. Oh, they, they're they collapsing. The yeah, well, they're oh. collapsing onto Xin Zhao here. And this is going to be an ultimate here. Wukong's going to go in and it's just going to be fully invincible as well. But, oh, the triple charm is actually insane. Followed up damage. Bob's is coming in. Lands the rocket and the Q. But there's just no damage because the other top lane, or the other mid laner rotates down. It's a three for one. Yeah, uh, probably should have just played for the plate there. They, they did get um, it. Well, no, they didn't. It's right there. It said it right there, five. Oh, it literally looked like it was four. Like, I thought I heard the plate during that fight. Like, right before they roamed up. Then it must have, like, one health on that plate. Uh, yeah, that was, that was rough. Uh, I, the thing that's really weird is, like, when they were... It was pinged that Zin was there and that they wanted to collapse. And they went like opposite directions. Yeah, uh, like, uh, Tarek went worked. up to the try. Uh, Sivir went like around. They didn't immediately go either, so Zin was able to get pretty far in. And they, they ended up fighting in that choke where the Seraphine can just press R and hit three of you. Oh, man. That will be dead Cho'Gath in the top side, <laughs> off the, the Nautilus room, and this is what makes Seraphine bot like viable, is when you can't properly punish it. Um, the only way you can properly punish it is by not allowing it to walk up and farm, so like keeping the lane in a, in a bad spot for Seraphine, it's the best case scenario. Yeah, this is not going to be... In like a fair fight here, because I guess I guess it's a four v four, but I don't think Dobbs has package, right? I I didn't hear package. Oh, he does. Oh, he he does. Does, have does have package. Uh, so they're just gonna give drag. So Infernal's a much better second dragon, or a much better uh, miscellaneous dragon, if you will, to get. Yeah, I, I agree, especially on your Cho'Gath poke and your Corky poke as well. A lot of damage coming out here. 
Fenbach, with his movement speed, is able to walk back at the Cho'Gath. Dodge the rupture. Dodges another rupture. Oh. Might actually get killed here. Wait, but the package is going to come in and be pretty oh. huge. It does land. He gets stunned. Nation's here as well. This is going to be a kill. Uh, but they push him in. Oh, Nation has to ult to make sure that he gets it. But, I mean, kills a kill at the end of the day. They got to get out of there, though, because the snake and the Zin Zhao are coming up. If Nation dies here, it's just egregious. Oh, man. Okay. Can't finish off either of them. I didn't even know what to say there. I was just trying to figure out what was even happening. Who was tanking the tower? They juggled that aggro perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, and, and Nation not hitting the W clone, and maybe it wasn't up, maybe it was on a cooldown, but you would think it, it had been enough time for that to pass. Ooh. Ooh, the big one hits. But just... Is, uh, there's no damage. Yeah, it's just man immune. And this is when... This is what I was talking about on Civ earlier, so... Seraphine's not allowed to touch this wave in this case. Like, it has to be hitting her turn for her to be able to touch it. You are the auto attack champion, you have Kraken. Like, you spell shield, you know, the, the damage, and you just have you trade with it. Um, that's how you have to play the lane. You can't let it be an equal lane. You have to basically stand in and, and get ready to push it. Yeah, but people just don't know that. Or they like they don't know so, like, how to right. do that. Yeah. So the more Panda plays in his wave, it's like the worse off he is. He has to like play in the enemy team champ champion's wave. So you can force Seraphine to trade damage to you, or you, or you, um, force her to hit the wave. You can't do both if if you're standing here. Like she's just. Gonna Right. Nice little uh, Miasma down to get some poke damage onto the Taric there. Uh, and here we, we go. go. This is exactly what we were talking about. But might overdive. Spell shields to get the heal. Oh my. Oh. 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 Gil's feeling himself. Uh, yeah, missing missed everything. everything. E everyone missed everything there. Yeah. And missed the, the Q that would have killed as well. Oh, what the? Oh, that, that lollipop was ridiculous. That is some biggity biggity bullshit. That was, uh, that's Nautilus for you. That's Nautilus hitbox. That is Nautilus hitbox 101. Yeah, and this is, uh, looking a lot like, uh, game number two, except Nation's here. Yeah, I don't think they want to take this fight. I'm going to say the Tarek ult's going, but Sivir doesn't really do a lot of damage yet. The, ooh, the stun out of Tarek's really good, though. Yeah. Tarek's got to get one more heal off, and ooh, Corky is teleporting into the fight. Trash is just going to be able to run down Sunrise because of this. Yeah. And Dobbs That's might get up. the kill. Dobbs flashes to make sure he gets the kill. Seraphine lands the slow there. And, uh, yeah. oh my gosh, wait. The snake might have walked up a little too far, but look at the damage Seraphine did to Corky. Panda, you gotta get out of there. And they conduit runs away, barely getting out of that one. Freaking holding here for Dorado. Oof. Close. Close root, rich stubby. And this Nar, I'm wondering if Nar's gonna go fall breaker. And just force the Cho'Gath to try to match. Because realistically, no one else can match. The Gnar. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to wait and see what exactly happens here, but, uh... This, uh, this will be the third Drake here. Spawning in. I, I, again, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if Dobbs ever grabbed a package. But, in theory, it shouldn't be up yet, right? It looks like they're just going to concede this Drake. 
Yeah, like, I think that's the correct call if package is around. Just play, fight for another package fight. Right, because. The yeah, the package was used top lane after the, uh, the NAR, which was a f about a. 30 seconds after the Drake was taken last time, so it's probably up now. I hope I hope Dobbs doesn't just pick it up. Um, but Stubby trying to fight this Nar and starting to lose. Yeah, and it really comes down to if Stubby can hit the, the CCs, right? If Stubby can't hit the uh, the knockups, it's really hard to deal with this Nar. Mm -hmm. Now, I know there's a lot of magic damage on the side uh, of Dorado, right? Oh. But I would love to see second item GA out of Wukong. Oh, that's a really good Wukong ultimate. They're going to be able to finish off the Nautilus. Major has to flash forward, but he still gets the kill. He is invulnerable because of the Terra ultimate, but somehow Cho'Gath didn't get it, and that's a, such a good Gnar. Nar has to flash out though, not so dark trying to get away, but is going to fall and Panda's going to fall, Stubby's going to fall, and they're just going to try to escape while in the pit and we'll make it out. <laughs> That's funny. Red team's and Conduit not really letting their team get online. They're giving the Zen a, a lot of resources when they do have the Cho'Gath yeah. who's going to scale into a monster, they do have the Corky who does uh, insane damage on a lot of items. They have Sivir, who's, you know, it's kind of the same, just does a... The more items, the more damage they do, so that's... Just something that they need to... Uh, be mindful of and try to stop giving this Zen Zhao, uh, kills early, because... The earlier, you know, Zen Zhao gets items, uh, the harder it is to function around them. I uh, very, very much agree with uh, everything that you just said there. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, yeah, Econo is just playing a scaling team comp, uh, trying to play too aggressively too early. Because, like, think about all the damage that Sivir Corky is going to be able to do and how big Cho'Gath is going to become eventually, right? Like, but uh, giving all these kills over early is... Uh, just really unfortunate. And I agree with what Newt Gaming is saying. Uh, Nasia needs to Q before he ults on Wukong just to get a huge bonk of damage down. Q will be off cooldown by the time your ult's done, and then he can use it again. I wouldn't know. I don't play the champion. Pretty, uh... Pretty simple mechanics at the end of the day, though. Almost as uh, crazy as Sivir mechanics. <clears throat> yes, yeah, Sivir mechanics. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looked like he finally landed the knockup, though, and this might actually be the kill. Ooh. One rupture is pretty big. Oh, but Dobbs is going to get flashed on top of... Stubby Flash <laughs> Silence Feasts to get the solo kill. Outplaying Fenbach, but... Conduit is just losing everywhere else. An eye for an eye, a flash for a flash, and they actually do have a comp that does this Baron very quickly. So, they're starting it right at 21 minutes. Conduit is, does spot it. Yeah, they're just going to fall back immediately. From yeah, oh. it's a smarter decision. <laughs> Baron is just ru attacking and deucing. They're actually starting to back oh. up. Conduit doesn't expect point. this. Interesting. This is really smart. Conduit just assumes that they got him off or that they were resetting for Drake. But no, they're just gonna do the Baron. Yeah, that that was actually very smart. Conduit. Falling for the old swoop and swallow. Can't do that. I thought they got him off of it. Corky does have package for this. But you're fighting against the Baron team now. I don't know if package will make up for it yeah it's gonna be rough 10 seconds on this could even the drakes out could give a uh, soul point 
status over to Dorado as well. Uh, just depends on what ends up happening here. And I like how Conduit's just immediately starting this up, but Nar is like looking to do something, and the rest of Dorado is just shoving down mid. So they're trading a Drake for a uh, tier two mid tower. But that is a nice, that's an objective fee stack on a stubby, so that's pretty big. Yeah, very interesting <clears throat> decision there. Uh, prioritizing taking the objectives rather than um, losing anything there. And they're, they're chasing them through the jungle. Yeah, they're acting as if they want to fight. Well, they, I don't think they see Nar on the bot side, so they could try to force a 5v4 or a teleport. I, I think it like if they were a little bit faster or quicker on the punch, I think it would have been a good play, but how far they chase, Nar's gonna get to that tower now. Yeah. Nar's gonna pressure the tier two. And I don't think package was like actually used anywhere, right? No. Just uh find out. Ooh, nice little uh, Everfrost there. One of the tough things about this package. Not used. Oh, that's a lot of damage that Stubby's taking from Nar. Nar's gonna turn Mega. I have to jump away though because the cannon doesn't actually walk up to the tower uh, with the Baron uh, range. But man, Conduit are just losing on all fronts at this point. Dorado uh, starting to prove that game two was not just a fluke of no internet and that they really are able to just. Uh, win the game, but will it be Seraphine blue side Pryo? It might be. Conduit has side selection for the final game. Um, oh, Dejan gets in! Causes a flash out of induced over the wall. So, uh, Wukong all for flash. Pretty big. Pretty big trade. Yeah. Yeah, very um, you know, Take small victories, that's definitely one of them. Still have the flash as Wukong. So it's uh, not a bad situation. Yeah, uh, this Baron timing out here in five seconds. Uh, we got 240 on the next Drake respawn, three more minutes on the Baron respawn. So we might have a little bit of a slow, uh, slow little period on the rift as we get towards the 30 minute mark. Conduit's uh, next objective is uh, is what? It's to hire a not AFK caster at genetics. Uh, anyways, um, looking around at, at the at the map, it does really feel like. Uh, Conduit needs to just turtle as much as they can because they they do have a pretty good scaling team Yeah, they, they do It's gonna be Difficult they can't give over the Baron. I think the Baron makes the game so incredibly hard for them to play around right it allows uh, Dorado to shove in you Give him soul you give him soul, but they can't have any more free Barons like that Looks like they're going for a pick on the Cassio here. Cassio does have this ghost, and Cassio's number 16. Yeah. That's flash, alt forward, and I think... I think, yeah, I was oh. about to say, Cass might just be able to get out. Oh, has a really nice Zanya. They're trying to turn onto the Gnar now. The flash reposition uh, of the stun's oh, really good. Walk back to get everyone into the alt. Not going to, but they're still going to be able to sum up and kill Gnar before Gnar transforms into Mega. So they are able to get the pick. Yeah, but look where, look where this Zen is, making sure that wave gets pressured, forcing off to use that teleport before this dragon. And that's going to be down, induced, not having flash, not having ghost. Uh, we'll have the alt back up, not having the stopwatch. So there's a possibility there. Uh-oh. And oh I'm guessing, kill, yeah, kills has to fall. No. Nope. Oh wait, oh, still well, does. Wanna, wanna respect flash. Um, I don't think kills needed the flash once the cast. Right. Cast to rotate. Stubby but... missed everything, and kills was able to just walk away. 
Um. I. Maybe for the void there. Does Does Dobbs have package? If Dobbs doesn't have package, they can't fight for us. No, Dobbs does not. Like. Yeah. This isn't up. This is a bad decision. You don't have Terracor. Um. And you have Wukong ult, but yeah, I think you just play for mid turret. That's the that's the smarter play. I think maybe you could even try to play for two. They're, oh, gonna, they're gonna play gonna... for they're gonna play for Baron Pryo. Ooh, I don't. Like they're getting the scuttle crab and they're invading, mm. taking the jungle away. I don't think they could have gotten a second turret. The minions just hit it right as they were finishing Drake. Uh, they would have ended up having to fight without the package anyways if they did that. Yeah, they're running straight up. Yeah, but package might be up now with Corky backing. Yeah. Package is just has just been taken. And it's it's on such a bad time right now that now Conduit has to feel forced to try to start something. Which is that's what Conduit wants though, because the other team wants to reset, right? They just got an objective and they kinda yeah, wanna you have to start the dragon or the baron here. You have to see if you can get it. Get it down or get, you know, bait them into taking a bad fight. And this, you just gotta bait out the Nar R. The Nar kind of, And there's Package. Oh, package. Yeah, but the, the Terracult doesn't land in time. The Seraphim ult's gonna hit everybody. Conduit's just gonna get destroyed in this fight. Sivir is doing his best to actually do some damage, and Najin is still alive. Stubby goes forward, yeah, but I Panda has been jumped on by the Nautilus. And because of that, Panda's able to actually finish off the Nautilus, but he has to walk away! No, he walked into E range of Induced while standing on the Miasma. Hmm. That wasn't that bad of a fight, given the circumstance. Yeah, Seraphine ult was incredible, really landed over top of everyone, and that Miasma there at the end, Sivir couldn't, like, stood on that and just allowed Cast to just press E over and over again. Yep, gotta play your ranges right. Um, so, uh, a win fight, or another one fight for Dorado. Uh, four for three. They do get the Corky package out, so they, Baron Pryo is all theirs. Yeah, and not having package for another, what, five minutes, six minutes, however long it is? Yep, it's gonna put them behind the curve on the soul point as well, so... Uh, need to really think about resetting this timer to play around this, this dragon, um, if possible. I think they're just gonna start up this... I, I, I understand yeah. Wukong's thinking of getting Black Cleaver second, but, like, why? Like, like I feel like you just go, like, like, more... Like, uh, I guess, you just need to, like, live longer, because... Wait, we also have an LDR. What do you think of the LDR on Sivir? Uh, I think LDR on Sivir is just good, period. It's just uh, another crit item. Yeah. Would I have built it this early? Probably not. Yeah, I was going to say, think, as a third item into this. I, yeah, I think as, like, a... I think it was probably just PD yeah. as your buy. Give you more movement speed, more attack speed, more crit, like... Um, LDR is, oh, Nautilus is just, should be dead. Oh, yeah, what? but they're Wait. actually going to pull off the what? Baron, and Wukong is, like, waiting to engage, and we'll be able to Baron. get into the back line. This is actually a pretty good Wukong ult, but I don't know if he's going to live. Seraphine gets another massive ult, but the, t the, oh, the Terrigal wow. ult comes in just in time. Nar's going to use Nar ult to oh. try to knock him away. Induced is super low, still has yet to die this game. Dobbs flashing forward, gonna get hit like by the wave. house and get slowed. Just play the wave. They, re oh. they really want that shutdown on Cass. That was maybe best case scenario for Conduit given the state they were in. Sunrise overstaying behind the pit, gets a little caught out. Conduit turns on Nautilus and then they don't just sacrifice the Nautilus and finish the Baron. They decide to take a, a fight, and they end up losing it. This is going to give Conduit a Baron with a Sivir. Yeah, this is huge if Sivir plays this correctly and just pushes the waves. They're all very set for the dragon. Well, I, yeah, they, I mean, I feel like they have to. It's soul. 
Highest win rate soul, might I add. Whatever is going... Looks it looks like BT or Blade. Uh, I BT. hope it's not Blade. Yeah, Blade would be really true. Uh, it, it would have to be BT. Oh, they're... Oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh character's dead. Yeah. Uh, you, just play, you just play for mid lane cryo. Obi had a nice little knock up there. Just... I think you just try to just go in him. Get full in him here. Yeah, that's the call that I would be making, but Nasia just walked him to death. Um. Oh, wait. That was such a good clone. Whoa, what is happening? <laughs> okay. I mean, that was smart to run that way. You stayed in the movement speed. Sometimes you just gotta monkey around. And Wukong is probably the best at that. But this yeah, is see, soul. we recalled here while Nation was... Like, this is a whole inhibitor. This is probably a Nexus turret. Like, you have to put pressure on the map. Dude, people don't know how to play macro. We've that learned was, this. That was very egregious. Nation causing a distraction. Dobbs and Panda go and recall. And it's like, man, what could have been? Just say if they lose this, if they end up losing this series when they watch it back, just remember what could have happened there. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It, and it was like it was easy to spot. You were already doing it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You just keep doing what you're doing. Like, like how you how is just keep bearing on the map? How are both tier ones up? Um, on the side lanes right now. Though there's not. Good people to match Cassio or Nar on the side. It's not right, but like, but like Shadow said, they literally had Baron and still haven't gotten those towers. Yeah, that's that is true. Well, like it's Siver, Baron. Yeah. I, I mean, I I have I lose like faith in Kondo being able to win this game when their Barons go like that. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like. Oh. It's I'm not, I'm not trying to flame or anything, but it's just like the macro decisions. It makes it when you're, you're already further behind. Like, Nation, uh, Nation just did some, some gig stuff, though. Let's not, let's not forget Nation really, really annoying decided to ride him with that. Right. But uh, now Conduit Baron is gone. And uh, yeah, Shadow also pointed out Cass doesn't have TP, so she literally can't side them. Not at this point in the game. But when but every champion's level 11, like, you're not going to lose anything from having Cassio side lane without TP. Right, but this point was kind of a Baron, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like right now, she can't side lane because she doesn't have TP, but... Sivir's super close to 16, or well, level 15, but almost 16 at this point. Um, Cho'Gath and Dobbs both level 17. Uh... But in fact, all all four solo laners are almost level eighteen at this point. And just remember, Dobbs was already eighteen last game, <laughs> or the Lux yeah. game and the Brand game. Yeah, it's a, it's a much slower lane or slower game for the solo laners. Um, because I believe Stubby had a game where he was level eighteen, um, really early on as well. So. Uh, this one's a much more thought out game. It's a long game right now. Mm -hmm. Another 40 minute banger. The only game that wasn't like 40 minutes was the the, the uh, game two DC, which even that felt like 40 minutes because was game one 40 minutes. I feel like game one kind of kind of once like brand came online. I don't remember. I, I think they. Uh, it I might have been. Fact, but they they did they all felt pretty long. Um, I mean, the series started at 8.30, where... We did going just hit, we did just hit four hours live, so... Oh, man. Oh, this is, this is... 
Oh, this could be huge, actually. If Stubby checks this with Q, they don't know he's going to try to check it with Q. Oh, they should have just let Stubby check it with Q because they didn't have vision on yeah, the Q. Yeah, I don't know if you heard Stubby had just checked the top bush with Q right before, so it was on cooldown. They would have had to wait, like, another four seconds. Maybe worth, but... At that point, you're just scared. <laughs> hmm. We're at a stalemate. Onto a theme town is finally like there. Right? Yeah. They have, they have the the thing, but they're going up against the soul, and it's a cloud soul and a Cassiopeia, so a lot of. Hard to catch that snake. Yeah, it, it's. Oh, this is the fight that they're looking for, oh, though. Nation, Nation gets into the backline with the ult, but they just don't really have the damage to follow it up. The Terra Gold's down to protect a lot of the return damage, but the Seraphim ult hits oh, four people. So but is it going to be enough? It's starting to look like it might be, but Nation and. and uh, no, just... oh, oh my god! Huge the four ult. man castle, but is it still oh. enough? It, it oh, finally, no. it only takes three, three man alts, three man plus alts. Oh my god, they hit everything there. The fact that I don't Conduit, know if Stubby can hold. The fact Stubby? that Conduit almost won that. Stubby's gonna try to hold. Oh no, Stubby dies here. Ugh. Oh my god, kills us! No! Kills lives! Oh no. Oh no, but they're actually- Stubby delays enough to where they're too scared to do anything. And gets enough damage. I don't even think they could be in this. This game's insane. There- there's no way- Let me show you something. Like, theoretically, there's no way you get that fight again if you're Durango, right? You're talking... Four-man Seraphine ult, four-man uh, Cass four ult, three-man Gnarl. Yeah. Yeah, there's just... The... That fight... That fight was still... Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God, so greedy. Oh, Why no. did you teleport there that early? On the pink ward. On the pink ward. Oh, man. That was pretty brutal. Oh, and Dark is kind of caught here. This... Nar can kind of walk him down. Oh, that is such an unfortunate play there. Nar, this oh. it's looking like all it takes is one bad play to lose a game when you're this late. Dobbs being down, 25 seconds still. Sivir down. Elder da is now taken, and. Uh, that should be the game. I don't think they can hold. They can't. Look, like, Cho'Gath yeah. just... Cho'Gath is gonna die as quickly as a regular champion. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it looks like it matters. No. He's still alive. Right, but I'm saying it doesn't matter because the game's still over. Yeah, the game still should be over. I agree. Man, what a throw, taking us into Game 5. Yeah, yeah it, it, Game 5 and, you know, semifinals. Yeah, but I mean, what an incredible five. team fight Wait from Dorado. No, it's over. Yeah. They, they have Elder, like, it's not, they're not winning this. Man. Oh, 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 oh man, I'm so. Oh wow, what have I signed up for? It was a, it was a silly. I think the the Baron, where conduit, uh, where conduit didn't just pressure the map and actually play for the, for the objective, play for the end, when they're. When they're all trying to funnel you to go to a dragon, and uh, I think that's really what lost in the game. Yeah. Um. Oh well, that's not what lost in the game. I think the TP at the end. 
and and getting on that weird death cycle uh, is really what like definitely sealed the deal. But that started the downfall. Yeah, just so unfortunate here as we go get ready to go into game five. Um, will we see B B one Seraphine again? Will we? Uh, and will Conduit take blue side? We're gonna have to wait and see. Um, I. I'm not putting silver scrapes on until we get past draft. Just don't complain when it's not here for the next like two minutes while we go on a break. Wait for while I wait to get speckling. But we will have silver scrapes as we get into game five. We will be right back. No one go anywhere because this series has been insane. <laughs> You're right. I do know what time it is. And it's time for game five draft here between Conduit Phoenix and Dorado Row. It's been a banger and a crazy few games here. Uh, it, is, it is 1 a.m. And thank you for staying up with us and watching this crazy, crazy series. Uh, so far, blue side is three and one. So far, blue side has picked Seraphine four times. And so far, red side has been Maokai as the third band four times. <coughs> I'm Black Eyed Peas joined by Genetics. Genetics, how are you feeling after all of this? Fired. Other than that? Uh, excited. <laughs> that's a weird combination yeah because it's game five baby so no matter what happens after this game is bedtime nah we got a duo after this that's true we do have we haven't done no 1 a.m 2 a.m duos recently so maybe it is time to bring it back don't worry i'll just play this in zao will this be a maokai band though uh, it could be Oh, they're like they're baiting them to pick Maokai instead of Seraphine. This is exactly what I would do if I was in this situation. You get stuck on red, you're going to this final game, and you know that they've been picking Seraphine first. Just leave them both up. Conduit now has no idea what to pick. And they think Looks Seraphine like the is better than Maokai. It's Seraphine. Five B1 picks. Whatever, no matter what, no matter what, the team you play next week, that's it. You just ban this champion. <laughs> yeah. And there's the Maokai. Maokai Ash. Will it actually be Ash, though? I think Drada wow. wins. I think Ash and Maokai are just insane. Especially like in the way that these teams have been playing this series. Positioning hasn't been uh kills a strong suit this series. Sarah is three tough, one. Tough Sam, Sarah's three one. The first game, uh Dorado was blue, first picked it as well. Silas is already banned on three. By the team that you want them to pick it. I uh, think you have to take Brum if you're Phoenix. Yeah, you almost like don't have a choice, right? You have yeah, to just put Seraphine if, mid. If you don't take Brom, you're giving them Brom. Oh, they're playing a failure of Seraphine into a Brom. Probably. But they did win into a Brom game three. They did. That is true. Who do you give counter to if you're mid for sure? Don't do it. Well, they're taking Nar on three. They're saying I don't want my Nar banned. That was my my bread and butter. Give me the Nar again. We'll see what Stubby decides to play into it. Taking away the Malphite. Yeah, uh, hmm. What would you play into it? Because, like, the Trogath was okay, but, like, Nar just ended up popping off a little too much. Me, personally, I would play Hybrid to it. I don't know, pick, like, let me see, like, Aurelia. Let me see Mordekaiser. I don't know if I've ever seen Stubby play Aurelia. Uh,. So, I don't know if that's the, the best option. 
but I guess I don't know what would be good into this champ. Like, I know, uh, I think Kennen's an even matchup. That was a real popular one at Worlds, right? Kennen Nar was like a... Those were... Uh, that was a, a constant lane. During yeah. Worlds, like, last year, maybe, yeah. or the year before. I know what you're talking about, uh, but it's not us. They just don't want Nar. Don't want Nar. Or don't want Braum. Oh, yeah, Braum, my bad, my bad. I said it too. Um... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what you pick if you're Phoenix here. I like how we got Dorado members in the chat flaming Dorado for not picking Blitz R4. Oh, it's the Orn. Let's go. Orn's back. Abby has had some pretty solid games on Orn this year. Remember, series. Orn was banned last game. They banned Orn instead of Malphite last game in the second rotation. So, I like that. So I'll just completely blind pick here. I'm interested to see. It's just brand again. He said, my brand was cooking game one. We let it cool down. We'll see if it's still piping hot. Uh, game five. What is Induced going to pick here to... All right, hear me out. Jace. Yeah, it's like probably Jace. Like stuff that can jump on brand very quickly. Probably tough. But probably not Oriana. the Oriana. It's Oriana. Oriana's the pick. I mean. Yeah, I wish it was the Fury. <sighs> I was about to say. I think. Uh, I was gonna say Kiana, but I don't know if Induce plays Kiana. I feel like a Kiana would be really good into brand. Yeah, uh, well, like, the reason I said Nefiri is the, the dogs will block the stun, like, almost every time, right? Ooh, yeah, that would be really annoying to deal with. I, you know what? I'm with you, Nefiri. Pick Nefiri. Too late. It is too late. It is too late. But this is it. Game five. For all the marbles. Winner takes 90% because they still have to play the finals. But loser gets nothing. And we get the other 10% because we got the cast. Loser gets a front row ticket the next week's finals. They're in the watch. And the winner will be on the main stage like genetics in Halo. No. <laughs> Never that. Never that. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and throw this to a quick, quick break here while we get through Champ Select. Game five, this is it. Conduit Phoenix and Dorado Row have put up a hell of a series so far. And uh, I don't think it's going anywhere else. So don't go anywhere. Stay with us. We'll be back soon. Hello everyone and welcome to game number five here between Conduit Esports Phoenix and Dorado Gaming Row. I'm Black Eyed Peas, joined here by Genetics as we get ready for the final game. It's a best of one. It all comes down to this. For all the marbles. For all, all the, marbles. the marbles. Uh. What do you think about uh, summoner spells? What do you think about runes? What do you think about starting items? We took phase rush on brand. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's trying to schmoove around. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. We also got cleanse on Ash. You're like, if a moon moves around, your cleanse doesn't mean anything, right? Well, there's a lot of champions that have the ability to. Uh... Yeah, that's that is kind of a tough one. Um, man. Well, you don't want to fail you. I wonder if Dobbs meant to take. I wonder if Dobbs meant to take Brand. Er, not Brand. Uh, phase, phase, rush? phase Rush. Phase Rush is. Phase Rush on Brand seems very odd. 
That had to be a misclick. Like maybe he's using like one of those apps and it thought he was support. But he has he has teleport, so. Let's see what auto runes get imported uh, by League of Legends. Yeah, it's either Dark Harvest or Comet. So yeah, I don't I don't know. Or Electrocute if you're mid. Phase Rush is the highest win rate top brand summoner spell. There it is. He wow. has he has his thing set for uh, top lane. <laughs> I don't know if that's even possible. Uh, but yeah, so. That's rough. But looking at uh, at uh, junglers, we do have both starting top side, but and it, nice. So Cooper is spotted by the really nice early ward that it looks like Brand placed there, and uh, so the old shenanigan gank isn't gonna be happening. And I like, I, I gotta say, Nation took wolves. That yeah, it's game five. You have to pull out all the stops. <laughs> taking wolves to first clear here. That's pulling out all the stops right there. Yeah, Coop, not taking wolves. Nautilus here, flashing onto Brand. I think Brand just walks away like nothing happened. Phase rush. He's out of there. But there it is. There it is. That's Subby, fine. Subby buying some items. He, did he buy a call? Yeah, and he did this game, game one or three. I can't remember which, but he did this in another series that, and I didn't notate, but it's kind of cheeky if you think about it, right? You save your health enough, you buy it really early on in the lane, and yeah, you, you kind of just get the farm. Yeah, he, he missed, what, 14 minions with it, so that's not not bad. Interesting idea. The so Mumu is yeah. uh, looking for a cheeky lane gank here onto the Ash Nautilus. Ooh, that's going to be fun idea. Yeah, but Nar's about to transform, get some health back. Amumu has made it into the second brush. I repeat, Amumu has made it to the alcove brush. And is recalling. It's so scary. Ran with the level 5 first. And uh, Stubby just uh, taking his good old time under this tower. Nice. Gets the cannon. Plus one. Uh, and here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, this could be a solo kill here. Oh, this might be the wrong way of a solo kill here. Uh, Nar ends up flashing. Stubby keeps, uh, holds on to flash. So Stubby's just going to sit there and uh, catch the wave and probably back with it pushing away from him. He really... Like, it feels so bad to back right here. What, well, Stubby? You can just teleport. Yeah, but you're teleporting into a pushing wave. It's like, it's really... Nah, Nars gonna shove it back. Oh, a weird spot. Nar Nars don't know how to hold the waves. They just use boomerang. Nar absolutely shouldn't shove it back, but... I, I, can't, I guess so. Oh, here comes Amumu. They get the knockup. Oh, he's still, he doesn't know Amumu's coming. Here it comes. He does get the bounce. They could try to dive this. They might have just enough damage, and they do. First blood goes over to Stubby. Conduit with the top gank quicker than Cooper this time, and starts the top lane. Minus one, though. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is really bad for Gnar, right? Like, you're losing a lot here. Yeah, he did just teleport as well. Yeah, that's... Wow, there's a second let's wave about to crash. Him. Yeah, let's count them. There's one cannon. Man, this Probably is... Probably three melees. At least... He gets in, in range for, for the third melee for XP. He's gonna miss the CS itself. Oh! Tops was window shopping. Oh. Finally has to flash, though. Does oh, land a bunch of return damage and gets hmm. out of the range of the shockwave. I'm actually shocked that Dobbs didn't just all day between Induced and Sunrise and let it cook. You're gonna TP back to this lane anyways. Right. So why not? Why not just see what happens? No, I agree very much. 
Um, this Infernal Drake, though, could go, probably will go over in some early, probably one of the earliest Drakes we've seen this whole series. And, uh, no stopping him. I was close. That thing got smited at 200. Oh, man. This game is uh, much slower than a lot of the games we've seen. But here game comes, five. here comes Almost some aggression. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, the, wait, the flash goes through and uh, they do get the Seraphine kill. Malkai gets it, though. And, oh, Panda needs to leave. The last time this Panda was playing Aphelios, he played extremely aggressively into a 1v3. Uh, but I don't think it's going to work this time. He cleanses. He will get a trade. Um, Ash gets another kill, and you lose a lot of creeps. So it's. I mean, you lose the creeps anyways if you back, so like. I don't know. It's, it's tough. Uh, Nautilus could have flashed over the wall. But, uh, think, didn't. Um, yeah, Nautilus probably could have flashed out of turret range. It's just the, the, uh, Aphelios flash was unfortunate. The Twisted Advance was already being used, and so it followed him. Yeah, that happened with Seraphine too, like, straight before that, right? Yeah. Like, that's two flash follows from Maokai's Twisted Advance. Which is pretty good. Uh, but, uh, other than that, it, like I said, it, it's just really slow. Like, every once in a while you got the jungle shows up and there's, like, one play made, but... Or the support roams. This Nautilus has been roaming like crazy all three games he's been on Nautilus. Um, but I like that they're finally, like, shoving the wave into it. Sunrise, definitely not a freak. Get out, get on the map. Right. Uh, Felix's just gonna take it back here. Probably just buys, like, boots unless you have free boots here, because I don't really know how much more gold you're gonna have based since you just recently backed. Oh, Cancels is back, so... Decides not to not to recall here and just stay in the mid lane, but here comes Seraphine and Amumu in the middle lane. This could be huge. The stun lands, the flash lands, but the Amumu misses, but it doesn't oh. matter. Curse the Sad Mummy is going to be enough. Wait, they stopped attacking! They just assumed it would be a kill. The Shockwave gets tons of damage. Oh my god. And Dajun also lives with one health. They decided that they didn't want to kill Oriana. They said, you know what? Our bad. The fact that no one died there seems incredible. I, you can't make that up. Yeah, it's like that whole play was just kind of wild. Like he flash queued and missed the stunned Oriana. Uh, yeah, I just I don't get it. Weird, weird. Hmm. That could have been uh, that could have been the the lead that uh, Dobbs was looking for on this brand, but just unfortunate that they weren't able to get it there. Drake still, uh, I don't even have objective timer on here. My bad. Drake up in a minute twenty. Rory <coughs> have flash for it. Dobbs will have flashback. Everyone should have all to that kind of time. Um, so we'll see how it ends up playing out. Yeah, it'll be very interesting here. We got, a uh, Stubby is down quite a bit of CS against this Gnar. But is going aggressive onto the Gnar. Might pop the Ornhorn here if he thinks he can get a kill. Yeah, he throws the Ignite as well. Pops the Ornhorn, but has to be careful because Gnar is about to transform. So, uh, Ignite and Alt down for nothing. Forcing the Nar to reset right of this dragon. Maybe a little earlier than Nar would have preferred. But if you're stubby, you just shove this wave all the way in. And make him make a decision. Him, yeah, force him to either walk top and then save TP or um, give up a lot of, a lot of XP. 
Yeah, it looks like he is going to give up the XP, hold the TP for the dragon. Going to miss at least a few minions of XP there. Uh, but Dorado is uh, poised for this. Nation could look for something here on this Ash if Ash walks up a little too far. But they're just shoving this wave pretty quickly. Oh, and Nation shows himself. Oh, okay. Oh, he's going to drop Herald. Okay, so they're going to force the Herald here and get the rotate. Ash has enchanted crystal arrow. And the, I was going to say, Nature's Grasp is about to be used oh. as well. Enchanted Crystal Arrow lands true. Cleanse is saved for after that. And this is a 4v5. Brand is a little bit late. Panda oh. gets hit. Panda gets nard. Everyone hits, but the Curse of the Sad Mummy hits four. But Anderson Cooper's in the back line. And Dobbs is in the middle, has to flash away. Dobbs does get the kill, though. But the slows from Ash is really heavy. Hitting on Nasion and Stubby. Shockwave is still up, so they gotta be careful about that. But Brand getting a nice pillar of flame to kill the wave. And a double oh. knockup. But the shockwave is huge. Not so dark. Super low. And Nasion misses the bandage toss again. Wow. And just can't go in. So now it's it's one for one. Uh, with uh, both people that died back up and starting to come back to this fight. <laughs> and... This is just crazy how I love these Oh, this is such a good play. They get the oh. Ash. Ash has flash though, and we'll just fly, flash over the wall, but Nautilus also has flash. They could go try to force it out. They will, and there, Nautilus oh. flashes. So that is both flashes out of both bot laners right before the Drake comes up. Aphelios though, still not here. Nar going top lane without TP. Uh, this could just be the concede. The Ornhorn is pop will be thrown to knock them away and really just keep them off this dragon and that's going to be a cloud drake going over to conduit and for game five we have another chemtech map yeah i like this game is getting crazy how people are living on you know so 100 health like just no one wants to die in this final game and you think maybe if dobbs doesn't have phase rush if he has comet if he has airy maybe these kills go over um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy up here. Stubby gets back in time to catch the wave too. That minion seems like it's in tower range. <laughs> it's just, it was like a, one more step. Yeah, but the solo lanes for Dorado are just way ahead. So, so ahead in terms of. Oh, here comes Nala's Hex Flash. Could dredge line. Chooses not to. And Amumu's here, but is on a pink board, and they got three people coming up. So, Nation, you can't walk that way, but decides that. Ooh, the Shockwave used just on Dark. Uh, Dark doesn't get the ultimate off. Oh, that nation tried to flash Q onto induced and misses both of them. She just isn't fast enough. And nature's grass is going to be used onto uh, off of Maokai. Will stun up everyone as well. So they do get the kill into dark. And if only dark was able to get the encore off there, might have been enough to uh, finish off the Oriana. Ash is uh, just freely pushing in this bot lane. Looks like they're rotating Aphelios up to secure this uh, Rift Herald. Nar is transformed. Probably will Nar him into the wall here. Does. Stubby taking a lot of damage, but just trying to keep the minions out of the turret. <laughs> Bellow's Breath with the Brittle Prog actually does a lot of damage on the return. Nar gets knocked up as well, and um, but it's it's not nothing's really going to happen. Dark gets hit by the Enchanted Crystal mm -hmm. Arrow. And uh, is just trying to stay under the tower. Has Seraphine ult, so could try to use it this time when they're about to get dove. This is the time to use it. There you go. Nice. But unfortunately, no one had taken tower aggro yet, so it didn't do anything. But they actually... Yeah, they got top tower first. So Conduit gets first tower. So a little bit of a thing, but Conduit is down by like one and a half K gold from these two kills and the solo lane CS. Yeah, the solo lane CS is pretty big. Um, 
jungle's even and AD carry's essentially even as well. So, looking at chat, uh, I do you know the correct answer? Does Randuin's work against Ash? It should. It's crit damage, right? It's a crit slow. Ash doesn't crit. Ash doesn't crit at all. Like Ash's crits increase her slow, I believe, or whatever. Like that was the whole point of like Ash's uh. Ability, but apparently, uh, Lost of Silver saying it does work. Yeah, I thought that was Ash's passive, but she doesn't have any crit. Dude, I have no idea. You're an ADC. How do you not know about Ash not critting? Not an Ash player. I play Heimer. I play Heimer bot lane. It doesn't matter what. You didn't know about Ash. Anyways, um, the, the crit damage increase, the, like her crit just increases her overall damage dealt with every auto attack, essentially, is how the frost works. But critical strikes do not deal any damage, they just double the slow strength. So she still crits, but her damage isn't increased, it's just the slow. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think the Randuins is built more for the, probably the nerf and the attack speed. Yeah, because probably. I know Frozen Heart probably is better. Frozen Heart's better, but I think for an Orn, the HP stat comes in handy. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so the dragon's up. One to one. Nice pillar of flame onto induced. Uh, Brand does have Leandris, but so does Oriana now. So, and both uh, both junglers have uh, what's it called? Demonic. However, crucially, a Mumu smite is upgraded, oh, wow. and this is an Orn just teleporting right behind everyone. And they're just gonna get Cooper's flash out immediately. Orn is gonna chase him down. Gets the knock up. Pops the brittle proc, Bellows Breath, gets the brittle proc again. But now they're in like a weird predicament here. They lose their top tower. And uh, Orn is still just walking at them from behind. Nature's Grasp is from the right side of the map, but Amumu is able to get in. And Ash flashes Whoa. away with the shockwave so it hits nobody. Stubby is still just running at them, and Nation is just going to wait on this TP. Nara immediately jumps away. Nation misses the bandage toss onto uh, the mid lane, and Nation's going to die. Pops Curse of the Sad Monk, but still gets hit by the volley. Meanwhile, uh, Jungler dead on the other side of the map. Nara really wants to get in here with the Nara ultimate. Flashes and misses. Hits nobody. Brand is able to hit. The explosion's oh, wow. going to be enough. The Seraphine ult goes so oh. far and hits everybody. Sunrise is going to try to get out, but it's going to burn down. Trash Panda flashes forward, but doesn't have anything to actually hit them with. So, a little bit of a misplay on the flash there, but Conduit playing the back end of that fight really well. Yeah, I don't understand how both junglers end up on each other's team's side. Kind of like that game Red Rover. You remember playing that as a kid, or was I was I the only one old enough to know about Red Rover? Red Rover, Red Rover, let genetics' his old brain come over. Come, come over, and then you'd have to try to break the line. That's what happened. Neither jungler could break the line, they just both died immediately. I, yeah, I don't know. Now, I do agree with Jensen here. Rage Blade over Triforce on Ash right now is crazy, especially when the only tank is is Orn. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I think Rage Blade's just a really bad item. Like. Yeah, like I don't even build it on Belveth anymore. Yeah, they just need to just not make it a myth. Just take away its mythic. Well, they. Well, I, I mean, mythics are going away of, completely. So. They're getting rid of all of them. So we're back to a little bit of a standstill here after Conduit kind of evens up the kills and gets the second Drake. Still down a thousand gold. Yeah, yeah, the game is, uh, the game's 
feels very... It doesn't feel as clean from either team as the last game did. You can like, tell uh, it's 1.30 a.m. And these yeah, people didn't want to be up to sleep. That, there's a little bit of fatigue going on here. Um, from everyone involved, I think. Mm. Even, even, it's even a little bit of fatigue on the caster's end. Is, <laughs> I yeah. can, I, even I'm slowing down at this point. Yeah, but man, this is... Uh, I want to point out something weird here. Brand has the heal cut against a team that doesn't heal very much. Like, you'd expect the heal cut to have been bought by the other team. Ash with the, re or I mean, Serving with a really nice uh, ult there, but it doesn't matter because Ash had just as good of an ult into the Shockwave and they're able to just kill Trash Panda. They definitely overstayed here, but Nasia goes in and gets oh. the fantastic three for one, but the Orn Horn goes wide. And they're not able to finish him off. Sunrai will burn out, but Nadian is absolutely going to die from Ash's slow and damage. Stubby is trying to chase down Orianna, but there's just not enough. And look where Gnar is. Yeah, we forgot about Gnar. <sighs> Nowadays, Gnar. everybody wants to talk that they got something to say. Oh, man. It Cooper just goes right in, oh, but oh, Stubby goes so back <laughs> and just has to just has to get a brittle proc, but he doesn't do damage. Oh my god! He gets so there is a shutdown there. Orin basically gets two kills for one there. Why are you oh. so far up? <laughs> because the, the sapling is chasing her, man. It's a horror movie. Close. <laughs> the sapling was chasing Seraphine. This game isn't real. <laughs> we all live in a simulation. <sighs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. 3k gold lead. Now, just based off the pressure and the NAR is up 80 CS, 70 CS. Pressure in the map really well. I just I, I don't know I don't I don't know what to say in these fights because I feel like both teams are making such egregious mistakes. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, thank you. You hit the nail. Like what? It, like how did Orin miss that? There were three people stunned in a curse of the sad mummy. I think like just because Ori was there, it kind of threw threw it off maybe. Yeah, maybe. But I agree. But, uh, I mean, Nahar is just gonna be playing split push for the rest of this game at this point. Uh, until mm. Conduit can find a way to, like, win some of these fights and force Nahar to have to teleport over. I'm surprised no Hallbreaker. What? I mean, Nahar might still build Hallbreaker. We don't... Dobbs 401 on this brand. Really has it. Yeah, Dobbs is playing very well. Good understanding of how to play this character. Drags up in 10. They gotta play for mid. This is mm. a preemptive strike here. She really wanted the shockwave of Mother Tower. This is where Nation's gonna go in. Probably too far though. Does hit that. Oh, the Ornhorn might actually land. Does hit multiple of them. The Seraphim ult goes over top of all of them. Stubby knocks up everyone again, but Nar comes into the back. Not so dark is able to kill Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper's out of the fight, but Fenbuck has to flash over into the bush. Ash is just shredding, but Stubby on the other side of the fight just doesn't care and is getting more flashes out of the Nautilus. Ash has to flash over the wall because she walks way too far up. I don't know, man. And Stubby wants to chase this Oriana, won't get the knockup. Oh. And Smart does not keep trying to chase. And Conduit's gonna get themselves onto Soul Point. Yeah, these fights are just, just so. Oh, Shockwave is. Oh. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Induced oh, is not. It, it almost did matter. That was big. Oh, my brain! Uh. 
Persia, the Conduit logo is different based on the team that plays. They all have individual ones. Correct. Uh, Phoenix has a very unique one, but the rest all look like the, the actual Twitch streams logo with slightly different things. Panda has to cleanse and is actually going to turn back in because they oh. get Seraphine Shield. This might be enough. He wants it. He wants it. The trench oh line misses, dude. but here comes the Nature's Grass. Nizo Dark has to walk up and take it, but they end up oh. getting hit by both. Oh but God, Seraphine dude. gets the oh, kill. Dude. Stubby can go in. Stubby falls back. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know, honestly, no more. I, I'm having a good time. That's... Is it Kentech again? It's Kentech again. Oh. Man. Why don't we get the fun ones? Like, X. Right, I would. Lo I love hex gates. I think hex gates are one of the like the most cool addition to the game. You see people do crazy things. That's what I like. I was doing with Barack earlier today, and uh, he was just walking. He was like checking. We were blue side. And he was checking over to see if red buff was up. And as he's walking past, he just sees someone going into my jungle. Like he just sees the portal going by. And he's like, ah, oh. and we just walk over and kill the Zyra jungle that was trying to invade me. <laughs> it's hilarious. The 2k gold lead for Dorado, but Dorado it does have, is on soul point in three minutes. Yeah, and it is the high, or er, the lowest win rate dragon soul, so we'll have to see if, uh, like how much Dorado's willing to give to try to contest it. You know what else I noticed? That the, we haven't really touched Baron at all this game. I don't think anyone's even done damage to Baron this game, which I think is much later. Then yeah, absolutely. Oh, here it comes. They're going to go for Anderson Cooper. Oh, they get the no. snare. They get the Seraphine root. Oh, they wait. Is it going to oh. be enough? Seraphine does ult today. Oh my gosh. Everyone ults just to kill oh, him. But as you were saying that no one's gone to Baron yet, they just killed the jungler. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna look to start here for sure. Um, Oh, they don't... Okay, they now see that there's a ward in the back. Does anyone have a control ward? No one has a control ward to place. This is not good. Conduit needs to back out. They don't have any alts except... Well, they have Brand and a Mumu alt. But they do not have ADC alt. So they will fall back off from this. But Orn has rotated up as well. So it's a 5v4 if they really want to take this. And Orn oh. really wants to take this. Gets a knockup onto a Deuce. Gets a stun onto a Deuce. And Deuce isn't even able to use Shockwave. Oh, and the Curse of the Sad Mummy oh. forces the cleanse out of kills. Oh, the Brand Alt isn't enough to finish kills off. It's not going to be, but Fenbot gets killed into the middle of it. And this is another kill here. Conduit gets four for nothing, but Cooper's back up. Yeah, and that gets, that all gets started by Coop just being mid by himself when the, you know, the players are going for, looking for the, the ward journey. So it's, all starts with that and unfortunately they all get caught now it's going to be a, a barren take or onto it yeah that's 50 seconds and they can make it back to dragon Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Conduit just absolutely busting the game open, taking the 2,000 gold lead themselves after just being down 2,000 right before that fight happened. So a 4,000 gold swing, and they're about to be all up. Alts are going to be all back up, except for uh, maybe Curse of the Sad Mummy won't be up. But no, in 40 seconds, it should be up as well. So we're going to have all five of the alts ready for this next fight as well. And uh, Man, I'm going to really like to see Nar just go Hallbreaker and... I think and, and that's just split when Dorado, forever. yeah, and that's when Dorado was, I think, doing their best this game is when they would constantly drag this Orn away from the Nar and let the Nar just get a, a ton of towers. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Uh, at that point, well, just build a Hullbreaker and just Kondo be super annoying. Conduit making the same decision. And this is the right decision. Who cares if they get the next dragon? Right, it's just their second one, and it's a Chemtech. Oh, you play for inhib here, Conduit. Yay, we have real macro. 
Yeah, I'll give you Chemtech 2 for Inhib any day of the week. They're gonna just rotate and take top tier power as well. Yeah, the minions are about to get barreled off. They're gonna go right onto here. This is going to be another turret just dead to rights, but will they try to follow up a fight? Nature's Grasp is used from quite a far away away, and they will get tanked. Nar is about to transform, and looks like he really wants to go in, but who's he gonna hit? He's not gonna hit anyone yet. We got all the ults, and he goes in and misses like everything. Oh the Aphelio Salt lands. Here comes Amumu's in the back. It's Curse of the Sad Mummy on multiple. The Seraphine all ends up hitting Fenbach in the back as well, and Stubby is just 1v3 or 2 in over on the front line. This could be the end of the game. Fenbach's trying to jump away, but Brand is just doing so much damage. Nautilus's all isn't enough to finish any to actually do anything, and they're gonna get a second inhib as well. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really tough to be in that situation. Um, Dude's kind of getting caught out again. Um, by these, you know, by this Amumu, and they are, they're pushing for the end. They have two minion ways. Yeah, and they still have, uh, they, or they don't have any ults, though, so they gotta be careful against this opponent's, oh, wow. but, oh, this could be a big fight for Dorado. There's no ultimates on a conduit, but it, it almost looks like it doesn't matter. Conduit's just doing so much damage, but Shockwave's up. The Shockwave could be huge. The, watch Induced. Be careful how he's gonna play this. Induced is just dying. The shockwave wasn't up. I missed. I misread, and that's going to be conduit winning game five oh after God. we get a triple kill on the trash panda. Would have been a quadra if he autoed one more time. But after five hours, conduit takes game five and will make it to the BOL finals. Grand finals. We're back to defend the chip. What? And I'm going to be honest. Phoenix has played ten games 10 in the last two weeks competitive games and that's tough Th those are hard mentally taxing series a lot of time's been spent in games so listen all i'm saying often... is the rangers went to five games in every single post game series it's just more practice it just makes you better are you you mean kiting in friends no i just said the rangers because it was Rangers. Oh, what? Not my Rangers. Hashtag not my Rangers. Didn't we go to five in like most of our series too? No. Oh, we definitely went to five in quarters. We went to five against uh, Cheers and... So two out of the three. Either way, look at this. Trash Panda doing almost 30k damage in 33 minutes. Big. Uh... It's just, it's just insane. Dobbs Deathless brand. Yeah, that's zero illegal. mobility champion four, Deathless. Four, Forty KDA on that champion for the night. Yeah, holy crap! That is wild. Dobbs. Yeah. Dobbs, you, I'm gonna give you MVP for the series. <sighs> Game one and five alone, you just played insane. Actually, hey, even Lux. Like, I agree. See, I agree with OTF, right? He said Stubby real MVP. Stubby coming in last minute saying, I'm going to put on the big boy pants. I'm going to step in. New team. No problem. And and played it out of his mind as well. I mean, Phoenix played great in like every game. Look at game two. They didn't have a jungler for half of it, and they looked good in team fights. <laughs> like, uh, Stubby played really, really well. But I mean, Dobbs' three wins were like insane two brands and a lux just the luxes the lux ultimates had us laughing we didn't even know how to say it we couldn't even cast yeah, I, I that that <laughs> was criminal if there's a takeaway it's dobbs just shooting lux alts as warning shots at uh kills and kills just getting hit by him that was crazy if you all want to watch funny game i think it was game three yeah that that game had me dying absolutely absolutely but gg to dorado uh uh good luck in the offseason best of luck going forward but let's be rooting for conduit going into game or into the the finals here for bol back to back chips question mark question mark maybe 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 we run the the gold gauntlet for for uh 
be a well, and that would be really hyped up. Yeah, but absolutely. But thank you all. Fifty people uh, still watching uh, this late into the night. And yeah, uh, and if, dude, if you if you haven't clicked the little heart, you know I see some of you guys in chat. Dude, hit the heart, guys. Come on, follow the boys. I mean, we won't be here next week because BOL is going to stream it probably. Speaking of BOL, but, thank you for the raid. Yes, big. But yeah, uh, check out the conduit Twitter. I, I tried tweeting over you go live. Uh, yeah, follow us on here as well. And uh, yeah, thank you so much uh, again to Conduit and Genetics for giving, letting me cast these games as well. Super fun. Five hours and ten minutes for the stream tonight. Huge, crazy series. Conduit does it again, though. We are going to end up going uh, away for the final time. So thank you all one last time, and we will see you next time. Go Conduit.